Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, <laughs> special guest. Mr. Jake Darwin is with us. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yes. That was amazing. I love the intro. It was great. Yeah. 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 I, said, I, I, don't know. I thought you weren't going to keep going. I was like, is he good? Is he? <laughs> Yeah. It's it's called building the suspense. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no way you can get rid of that. Mm. I was talking. We were talking about that earlier. I said, you know what? I, I just want to ditch it. Yeah. You know. What would you do then instead? Then I would just start off the conversation and be like, "Hello, Jake Darwin. How are you?" And we don't want that. No, yeah, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that's good? Definitely not good. Uh -uh. Nah. Yeah. Keep it the way. What it if is. I'm like, uh, ah, oh, hey, everybody. Today's <laughs> guest <laughs> is Jake Darwin. Huh? <laughs> I think it sets the mood, sets the tone. You know, it's like, Agreed. hey, you know, we're we're gonna laugh, we're gonna cry, we're gonna <laughs> all of the above. You know, it's love like, it. Yeah, love yeah. it. Our guesty. Yeah. yeah. So how are you doing, dude? You good? I'm doing good. Yeah, just uh, just having yeah. shoes come out and all this cool stuff. Yeah, yeah just had the shoe come out. <laughs> um, super stoked on that. Everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, went really good. And still tripping that you know, New Balance were down to do that, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, everything's amazing. Yeah. What? It, how did that? Because, like, uh, listen, I mean, you, I mean, you're an uh, amazing skateboarder. Yeah. Right? Straight up, kill it out there in the streets. Mm -hmm. But your main passion, focus, mm. everything, job is photography. Yeah. Uh, straight from New Zealand mm -hmm. to Melbourne to LA. Mm hmm. But, um, you know, working for New Balance and everything, how does a conversation like that get brought up? Like having your own shoe? Oh, um, so with that, did you go in and like request like, <laughs> Hey, you guys I, I mentioned it to Seb. Yeah. So, uh, at the end of every year, since I've been working at new balance, um, which I got the job in 2018, mm -hmm. I'll go in at the end of the year and, um, I'll sit down with Ty and Seb and we'll just kind of like talk about, you know, what we did good for the year, what photos we liked, what we can improve on, just like kind of just break everything down. And, uh, at the end of. I think it was 2019 I went in there and uh, Seb was like, hey, so, you know, like everything's good. Like, is there anything we can do for you that, you know, like you'd be hyped on? Do you want to go shoot with like Brandon in Boston or Tom in England or whatever? You're like, no, nah, how about a shoe? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was just like, man, I'd, like everything's amazing. Like New Balance is from the top to the bottom. I love it. And uh, yeah, I was just like, is there any way like maybe i could get a colorway or something you know? <laughs> kind, of, kind of just like slip it out yeah, yeah and uh he was like yeah for sure we can like look into that in the future and that was it that was the conversation okay so i was like cool probably like won't happen like if i'm being realistic but it's all good i kind of threw it out there and um a year goes by and i go back in for my yearly review we break it down everything and then uh seb was just like Hey, so yeah, and uh, we're gonna get you to work with Jeff on the colorway, and we're gonna do. And I was like, huh? <laughs> you, 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 what? And he was like, get you to work on Jeff with the colorway, and I was like, no, what, really? And I kind of like, you know, I'm like, really? You know, hyped. That's so, super uh, yeah, I mean, I was I was tripping when he said that, and uh, two weeks later, I was working with Jeff Mikeit, who's like mm -hmm. also an amazing skateboarder. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just super cool because I don't know, like. I've watched so many of my friends get colorways and seeing that process, you know, you kind of wish like, oh, I wish I could do that and be a part of that. But realistically, I don't know if it's going to happen. So sure. when uh, New Balance and Seb was like, you know, we're down to do a colorway. I was like, man, this is a dream come true. Like, I'm so happy. I mean, not only as a photographer, but as a skater. For that's, sure. Yeah. That's like, yeah. you know, if you get a, a colorway, yeah. you're, you're over the moon. For sure. No yeah. And, right. uh, I'm just like so happy, you know, mm -hmm. um, and what, it all came out and yeah. What, what, beautiful shoe, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful yeah. shoe. How did you look at, How did you decide on this style and like colorway? Yeah, they give you a choice of which uh, New Balance numeric shoe you want to skate. And the 440 was the only one that I'd skated in the past and the best high top. So that was the one that I chose. And uh, Tom Knox had had like amazing colorways and... I was like, just an all white shoe for me would be like my dream. Yeah. You know, you could do something crazy for the second shoe. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but like, like <laughs> the thought process. I want to I wanna have something that like in 10 years time, it's just clean and, you know, 
But and you got the little 3M in there and everything, like yeah, nice hits yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's we, good. It's good. We put the 3M on there. Clean. And uh, just like I was saying, working with Jeff, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, just being able to go back and forth. And he even mentioned you can change things with the shoes. So you can take out the N on the inside and you can change the tongue and the... Um, the, the aesthetics of the shoe, pretty much. The aesthetics. Much. And see where it's got my name at the top. They normally have um, canvas. And I was like, oh, Tiago, Tiago's uh, 1010s have rubber. And I always thought that was really cool. And I was like, I'd love to put that on there because it uh, just stands out a bit more. And yeah. Nice. No, these are awesome, Super dude. Good. Yeah. Congrats on that. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my colorways. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But dude, I, it's crazy, man. Looking at it, like I, I didn't, I tried it on and it's way more like, lighter and comfier than not that it looks like it's yeah. like super stiff no, but there's, you know a lot, I mean? there's a lot more fabric it's, there yeah there's a lot it's more super comfy i was tripping on that it's such a good skate shoe yeah the sole yeah. seems very thin and like flexible mm -hmm. like right off jump yeah 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 out of the box it's good to go yeah. like it's a really good shoe so no i mean like i said i i still can't believe it so Shout out New Balance for that because that's yes. like a dream come true. Oh like it's saying for anyone, you know? For, for sure, sure, man. So. Shout out to the people that are multi-talented. Right? You yeah. already know. Yeah, We're talking up. to one right now, yeah, no. this guy. Because speaking of like, you know, skating, I mean, also, you know, you work for New Balance now. Yeah. DC, Element, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, covers of magazines, mm -hmm. like uh, not only US magazines, but Australia magazines mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I mean, like, was there ever a point in time, because you rip at skating. So were you trying to go for that? Yeah, like that was always the goal. Um, but I just got injured so many times. I uh, like broke my ankle, broke my wrist, snapped my damn shin. And oh, then I shit. blew my ACL out. And uh, You snapped your shin. I snapped my shin. Why does that sound more <laughs> then, terrifying than an crazy. ACL? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was, it was way crazier. Uh, oh. I wouldn't say it was way crazier, but like it was, it was more graphic. Yeah. Oh, so because wait, it was a compound type of deal? No, it just did the like. I don't even like saying it, but it did the boing. Oh. You know? Oh. Yeah. Fuck. I was a. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, it was actually the final day of school holidays. I was like 14 years old, and uh, my mum had told me like, "Hey, Jake, like, come home, like, dinner's ready, you know, like, get your ass back, you know." Uh -huh. So I, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm coming back. I'm at the skate park in the city, and uh, I go to just skate the mini ramp one last time, just. You know, so I ollie into the mini ramp, uh, pump, I do a fakie and then switch fakie and then I go to do a pivot fakie and I just miss the coping and it's on skate light. So when I went to do a pivot, it slipped down <gasps> and my left leg just like bent inside the ramp, oh you know, my God. and then I twisted around and I kind of just like was looking in the sky and I was like, oh, whoa, like that was so weird. What happened? And then I tried to get up. Oh, you didn't no. even feel anything. No, no. I literally no. just like nothing. It was like nothing happened. And I was like, whoa, like what the fuck? I'm just looking at the sky. And I try to get up and I just felt the cr the crunch of the oh. bones. Sorry. I know. I didn't want to bring that up. Oh. Is that like the UFC fights when the guy stands on his yes, leg and it goes, goes like that? Yes. I didn't want to bring this up. Oh. But we had to. You made me do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we have to talk oh, about dude. this. Um, but like I said, like a shit... <laughs> You saying like breaking your shin I is like, snapping like, it like that, snap, yeah, but, yeah. but like I shouldn't have done that. No, but the ACL yeah. is like the ACL you know the ACL's bad. Is bad but bad. to me, hearing a uh, breaking your shin yeah. is like way more traumatic. For, For sure. sure. So uh, I was on the mini ramp and uh, I literally was looking in the sky, tried to get up. I was like, oh my god, my fucking leg's broken. And I called out my friends. I was like, yo, 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 my leg's broken. Like I need to get like a, like ambulance right now. And they're kind of like, oh, yeah, like your leg's broken. I'm like, bro, like it's <laughs> fucking broken. Like, please get oh. something. And uh, this dude drops in. The, I'm not even lying. This dude drops in the mini ramp, starts skating around me. And I'm like, oh, my God, I like stun and feel sick. And he slips out. He falls over and his board just zooms past my foot, you know. Oh my and if it had touched my foot, my foot would. Right. Oh. It would have just gone like to the side. And uh, anyway, everyone picks me up and they take me off the ramp. But um, so... If this is my ankle here, mm -hmm. and this is my knee, and the brakes here, they pick me up from like here, oh. you know? Yeah. Drop so that's your... when it, it, I went up, and then I just felt it drop a little bit, and then it went boom, Ugh. and it just went down. Oh my God. And that was when I was like, oh my God, like, mom's going to fucking kill me, you know? The street like, lights are on, you're ready to like, you come home for dinner. Yeah, where, you know, like, where are you, son? Oh like, God. it's time for dinner. Oh. And that was like the worst thing was telling my mom because, like, she already was taking so much time off work because of my injuries, oh, you know? Bad. So, uh, 
yeah, I went to hospital and I was in a cast for like 12 weeks. So what happened with the A B A B C? You never really like the injuries just caught up with you. Is that what you're saying? Well, like- it was like ankle, wrist, shin. ACL mm. with from like the age 14 to 16. Oh, oh wow. wow. So we're talking a couple what? years. Yeah. And they no see- one, like, I don't know anyone that's done an ACL at 16. That's gnarly. Not only dude. that, but all the, all those three yeah, in, in two yeah. years. Oh, it was so fast. Like, you get, and you, at this point, I'm sorry for No, please go ahead. At this point, I'm playing like soccer at a high level, and it's just like my parents want me to do that, but I want to be doing this, you know? Right. And uh, that was the thing. The thing is, uh, my parents had me in a lot of sport. And that was like what they wanted me to do. But I wanted to be over here doing this. So that was like the divide of me loving skating. It was my thing where this was like their thing, you know? You were kind of doing it just because yeah, oh, yeah, make them happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you've been doing it since you're five years old. Right, so like right. you've got a lot of friends in there and you got ties. So um, this was all amazing, but I wanted to be over here. This mm. is what I wanted to do. So after the, after the ACL, is that when you like got into the camera stuff? Yeah, so... I'm want, sure to just be to, around with, please go ahead. No, I was going to say, so what got you into skating? What made you get, you know, oh, so you were like, yeah. you know, all into sports and all that. Yeah, yeah. What led you to skateboarding there? Um, so a bunch of my friends that I went to primary school with, that's uh, elementary here. Mm-hmm. We all lived on the same neighborhood. And uh, I lived at the top of the street. My friends live all the way down to the bottom. My friend who lived at the bottom, Ethan, his place was like the clubhouse. So we'd go there after school and... Uh, yeah, we were just like, we all had skateboards because it's just like, you just have one, you know? Yeah. So we all had skateboards. We'd go to his house, play video games, uh, watch Jackass, film us <laughs> doing like stunts, uh-huh. you know? Like, we were just being kids, just being idiots. And uh, skating just fell into the whole like thing of us hanging out, just being on the driveway, trying to like learn how to kickflip for like months. Mm-hmm. And uh, can't do it for a fucking few months and put it away and start doing jackass, you know, <laughs> and then bring it back out. And then, oh my God, like I could kickflip. I don't know. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. just, uh, yeah, it was our thing that, you know, sounds like, did. sounds like the typical, you know, like uh, everybody, all your friends are doing it. So you yeah, do it, you know, follow, sure. follow suit kind mm-hmm. of, that's how I started yeah. pretty much. Um, did you start watching skate videos? When did you start watching skate videos and look at magazines? Uh, I started watching skate videos with Ethan because he was just like, he knew everything like, well, from what our perspective was, he knew everything. He knew what like a feeble was, and I was oh, like, okay. "What's a feeble?" Oh, yeah, you yeah. know, how old like, are you, you got an ollie point? over the rail. Uh, I was like nine. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, and like it, just whatever. But um, he just had all the videos. His dad and his mum had all the Globe World Cups. Like, uh, yeah, right, fucking all the mm, videos. You know, great video to get started on. <laughs> oh yeah, great. <laughs> That's crazy that when you say that though, like it's weird because yeah, Jerron and Chris were both in that video. Yeah, that's why I, I, mean, that's I why, know. I understand. That's it. why it, that's what's crazy for me because <laughs> being from New Zealand, you see all these things, and now like now I'm here. <laughs> it's really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you've been here for a while though, dude. <laughs> you know. You've seen a lot of shit go but down. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, yeah, for sure. That's um, right. I mean, I think even living here, it's the same thing though. Cause like I would, I would watch the plan B videos. I would watch the blind videos and everything. And then when I started venturing out into Santa Monica and the world, like here are these guys, mm. like they're just here. here yeah. There they are. No, it's, it's crazy. I mean, Kelly, you remember the LRG demo in Auckland? Yeah, like, I got photos with you at that demo, you what? know, <laughs> dude. Like, someone, I think so Tyrone nice. was telling me that or something, and I was like, "What? Yeah, that is what you have actually have those photos still." Yeah, they're somewhere like on Facebook or like on MySpace or something. That's amazing. And I have them with like Jack Curtin, and I have them with like wow, what? Bro, so many people. Was that like really early on for you skating? Uh, that was where it was like getting more into skating and in like phasing out the jackass oh stuff, okay you know? okay yeah. oh so you were going hard at jackass oh we were doing it that's how I, <laughs> that's actually another way how i broke my ankle the first time and then i rebroke it skating but i don't know if we want to hear that but. i'm good with the yeah. shin story yeah 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 um but let me ask you a question was the uh was there a lot of demos going on in, in new zealand For sure, yeah okay because yeah. oh, i feel I- uh, I, it, uh, well, I just feel like mo- everybody would go to Australia more or less yeah. and they wouldn't go to New Zealand yeah, or I've, maybe I'm wrong no no you're right I feel like um, whenever there was a demo in New Zealand it was uh, a really big deal mm. uh, everyone from town like came to watch it because it's like the Americans are in town like we watch all the videos yeah. like I'm saying we already know everything about everyone that's going to arrive like sure yeah when the LRG team came like it was crazy you know that's, that yeah. was a fun it, trip Yeah, what, what year is but, that 
2008, seven, eight, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, there was a spot downtown. Uh, it was I forget what city it was, but they had the wall ride. The Jack did the kids wall ride on Altair Square. Okay, is that like a, a skate spot now? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was tripping that, on it that. It was back then. That mm-hmm. was when it was the original Altair Square. Okay, and then they moved the monument um, up into Ponsonby, which is a different part of town. Okay, so it's really cool. They just moved it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was I think they might have like I don't know how they did it. Yeah. Well, they move houses and shit, so that's I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I don't even want to know how they do that, but I see you know you see them on the back of trailers and shit. You're yeah, like, wow, that's that crazy. You, yeah. But um, so it was a big deal when when oh, the pros huge. would come through and stuff like that. What about? I mean, what year? Are we talking like early two thousands here? What are we talking about? We said 2007. 2007. 2007. Yeah. Okay. Because was there a lot of Australian companies back then? Would they come over to mm, New Zealand? Not really. It was mm. more just like the American teams. Okay. And uh, Foundation came out one time, and yeah, LRG, Super, and Crew came out a little Sick. bit later. Um, so I'm just at these demos, getting photos with everyone. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm never gonna see them again. So I'm getting photos. <laughs> of you, 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 you know. Amazing. Um, yeah, Delmo gave me his shoes at that demo. That's so sick. Yeah, he, he's like... Some eye pass? Yeah, he which, signed them and everything. Which, wow. which ones were they? Do you remember? I can't remember. They were like mid-tops. That, oh, he, dude, that's so sick. Dude. Yeah, he was he's so nice. Like, he, he just sat down with us, like me and my friends. We were like heckling him, you know? And, <laughs> you were heckling well, him? Well, we were kind of like... You know, like, what is that? Just ask him questions. And then, oh, okay. Not yeah. heckling, but, yeah. but like bothering. I thought you meant while you're skating. You're like, like hey! Roasting him. No. And like, <laughs> roasting, yeah. No, like, just whenever people come into town, you're like, I want to talk to you, talk yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, questions, yeah. questions, sure, questions. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and, yeah, he was like, I asked him, I was like, can I have your shoes? And he was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And it was like as simple as that. And I was like, oh, my God, like. Got these iPods so from we were just Elmo, ta- you know? I was just talking about that the other day about uh, demos and like, having kids ask for shit and like oh it, cool if it's at the if it's at the the, the last demo of the trip yeah you're like fine cool here's my shit whatever yeah. i'll mm-hmm. give them a whole setup i'll fly home totally. with nothing yeah but uh i used to start carrying uh hats with me yeah. so i'd wear the hat during the demo and then it, kid would always ask for the hat yeah so here's my hat yeah yeah because uh never the shoes though that's yeah a weird one yeah that's a weird one I, well uh we wanted anything. Yeah, you know? any, any even Matt, we yeah, wanted anything. anything yeah. You guys were in like the glory days of demos, so I couldn't yeah. imagine what it was like yeah. back then. But. Yeah, the demos are, I mean, I'm glad this company still go around and do them, but I yeah. think it's not as, as it was. Yeah. Because you couldn't reach out and touch these people yeah. back then. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. had to, you had to go and see them in person. Like the only thing, yeah. the only way I knew you guys were coming here was from a flyer, you know? Mm-hmm. Like. LRG team's coming at this day and you be there or that's it. Like that's the only information you're gonna, you have. You're going to miss yeah. it. Go watch yeah. a tour video. Social mm-hmm. media. Yeah. yeah. Like people were for sure driving from like other parts of New Zealand just wow. to like come to the demo. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Dude, Sick. New Zealand's a beautiful place. I trip yeah. out. I, oh, it's the best. Yeah. And you can drive across pretty quick, right? The whole thing? Yeah. Uh, probably takes like two days from top to bottom. Oh, does it? Okay. Maybe like that. But you can drive... The coolest thing is you can drive from the east coast to the west coast like really fast. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Whereas like you can't really do that here. Like you can do it in a couple hours. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Well, there's only a, f- I've, a few skaters that have come out of New Zealand, right? Like I remember Bjorn Johnston. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Bjorn. Legend. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, dude, he, uh, when I first started skating in LA when I was like 16, I was the, one of the first dudes I met randomly. Yeah. He yeah, yeah. was a beast. Mm-hmm. He was around a lot back then, yeah. too. He would make his way around. Yeah. Bjorn. Yeah. There's yeah. another OG. Fuck. I can't th- remember his name. Raj, you might remember his name. From um, Tommy, who? who? Tommy Finn? No, 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 no. no. OG, OG, OG. Like Lee Ralph. There you go, Lee, Lee Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, Lee yeah. Ralph. Yeah, he's like the godfather of yeah, New Zealand skateboarding. Seriously? Yeah, that's amazing. Him and Shay and Justin Watini. Yeah, huh? They're all like the OGs, you know. Isn't Dave Kami from there too? Dave Kami. Yeah, Dave he's, yeah. he's legend. Dude. Yeah, he's legend. Definitely. Yeah, he's the goat. So let's go back to the skating really quickly because like. That that never transpired. Too many breaks just, in your in your bones. Just, so you wanted to pick up a camera. Yeah, just too many breaks. And after my ACL, um, the process with that is, it's like, can be between seven to nine or ten months, depending on how much you do the rehab, to get back into skating. Totally. But you can walk after the surgery after like a couple of days. Mm. So when I was sixteen and I was like, I had two more years in high school. I didn't want to miss out on being in the crew and still skating, you know? I had a lot of friends that had already kind of like gotten hurt and just kind of like gave up. Yeah. And 
I could still be mobile, I could still walk around, do stuff, and uh, I wanted to be with all my friends and still just like live the life that we were living and mm -hmm. just having fun. So I was like, makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. my friends, Willie and David, they already had video cameras. So the only other option was a photo camera. So how did you get photo nice. equipment? I was working at Fruit World at the time. Excuse me? Fruit World. Fruit World. Fruit, fruit World. Okay. Yeah. They sold fruit. They sold a lot of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just packing fruit. Um, so I was doing that and I'd already been working there a little bit because my parents have made me have jobs from a young age. Mm -hmm. Like I had a paper run, worked at a sports shop, Fruit World, okay. another Fruit World. <laughs> Two fruit, got transferred from yeah. one Fruit World to the other Fruit I World. I did, yeah. Mm. Um, and so I already had a little bit of money. So when that happened, I was lucky enough to like be able to buy a cheap camera. Okay. Just an entry level one. Um, and it was just so fun because it's it's new. You know, it's a whole new thing. And uh, I was just like... I had a friend, my one of my best friends, Kale, he also had a camera. Mm. So, and he's an amazing skateboarder as well. Oh, that's his. Dude, that's a sick photo thing, yeah. on the Red Bull Bulletin magazine. Yeah. Damn, that thing, it looks. Um, and me and him would kind of just like bro down from learning how to like shoot photos. Oh. And it just became this fun thing where like, I don't know, what are you doing on Thursday night? Like, oh, uh, like got uh, just finished school or whatever but i'm down to go into the city and like just learn how to use the cameras okay not shoot skating just shoot whatever stuff yeah, yeah shoot ah. stuff so it was actually like pretty cool wow so yeah i've always wondered about that spot because we uh it popped up recently in a couple videos that like curved ledge down the stairs yeah that thing looks so fun but did you had to get up on some crazy shit for oh, that yeah. mm -hmm. it's like a yeah I want to say, is that the shot that it's like a playground? You ever seen the little playground equipment yeah. with all the little bars and stuff? It's the same as that. This is just metal and uh, it's a lot thinner. Okay. Um, there's a lot more like gaps in between and stuff. Gotcha. It's not too crazy. It's mm. just the way you have to position your body mm -hmm. that like, that's the the hard part mm. to get comfortable to shoot it you know i was watching a, a video about uh, your photography and stuff and you were just you know you're climbing up on a billboard <laughs> oh, yeah. stuff and yeah, you're yeah. like on top of this like crazy dome <laughs> yeah, and, like, yeah. you're, you'll go to the you'll go to the extreme for sure right um i mean that was the thing when i first moved to australia um i mean so many amazing photographers are from there they've shot all the angles so how do i shoot something fresh and new I just climb something, you know? <laughs> so you're, look, you're just looking around. Oh, I'm looking around, yeah. But yeah. like, do you have an idea when you look at something, oh, it could look like that from yeah. this angle? Or yeah, you're yeah. just like, oh, I'll just go look and see what the fuck's going on. Yeah, it's kind of like you get to a spot like, okay, I'm going to check these options up here first. Mm -hmm. And then I can, uh, you know, like see if it's going to work or not. But I know it's never been shot from there. Yeah. Like the billboard. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to get fucking arrested you know? yeah. I'm like, holy shit yeah. but i'm gonna try shoot it and it uh was in mason's interview for his uh trans world um piece oh yeah mason silva which you had yeah. the cover of too yes yeah. yeah um and yeah i think just climbing things is uh just makes me I, get what i need to get i love yeah, it because know? like I, we've been skating for so long and there is the standard shots mm -hmm. right it's like at the bottom of the rail yeah. over here like manual pad okay i'm gonna sit front and center and film it you know it's like when you start seeing other you know even like a drone you know it's like cool like it's a drone but yeah it's different mm -hmm. you know and i like to see different kind of compositions of how skateboarding can look rather yeah. than the standard issue sometimes mm -hmm. hey sure. standard issue is great it's amazing but that's, that's the classic. Classic. You know? But the classic. there's also other things you could do. For sure. Yeah. And Especially uh, if you're willing to like <laughs> risk everything to go get that. I'm shot. willing to risk it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. Have you gotten in trouble in, it from, in any way from doing that? Uh, I've definitely gotten in trouble, but nothing that's like coming to mind. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like that's just my thing is just try and climb some shit. And if I get told to get off, I'll get off. Yeah. If I don't get told to get off, I'll go higher. You know? <laughs> right, right. So. There, there was a photo that Justin showed me. Is it Makba? It was, in, like, uh, it was like a windowsill. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, how did you find that spot to shoot that at Makba? I was uh, like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, I didn't even know that where that would be. So that's just so um, With that, that's a funny one because Alex, um, Alex Lorden, my good friend, he was filming for his transor part. And he was like, I'm going to fake your front nose the outledge. I was like, okay, sick. This is going to be amazing because it's such a good, f like the form of a fake front nose is yeah. the sickest like photo. Yeah, yeah. So the outledge being the stairs at the end. Yeah. 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 You can shoot it from all these angles. 
but like down the bottom, but like how can I do it like a little bit different, you know? So I'm looking around and I just turn and I see this like massive uh, staircase with like glass windows and everything. And uh, I'm like, okay, hey, hopefully I can try swindle my way into there. So uh, I go around down the street, I find this door and it's actually like, I think it's a, the university or it's something like that because there were uh, like students coming in and out. And uh, I open the door, I kind of look around and it's just like an empty hallway. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so just walk through. I'm looking to my left and right and I'm seeing people in classes. So I was like, <laughs> okay, what's going on, you know? And then the bell rings and all these fucking people start <laughs> rushing out. Like, holy shit, okay. So I go to the end and then I see the staircase going up. And Alex is trying fakey front nose. <laughs> You know, he's, like, where's like, he's, he's, where's trying, my, he's trying fakey front nose. Where's my photographer? Yeah, he's gone, you know, and doing that trick. I can't just be like, hey, jump on it again for me, please. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, gnarly. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I think I found an opening. So open this door, go up the staircase, keep going up, keep going up. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is like psycho. Like, this looks so cool, you know. But I can't fucking tell them because they're all the way down at the fucking outledge. So, you know? you're... so I'm just sitting there waiting and there's like people standing on the stairs and like Lorden's kind of like looking around like, where's Jake? You know, like for sure. He doesn't know. I don't even know where I am. He doesn't know where I am. And we can't text each other or anything. And uh, yeah, so. You have up... to go get a boca deal quick <laughs> and, and yeah. damn them home. Yeah, so I uh, ended up shooting it and those guys are just like, I see them land it in their like Alex lands it and they're watching the footage and they're kind of like looking around and I'm, I walk down the stairs, come back around. They're like, where were you? You know? And I showed him the photo and he was just like, wow. Like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you're going up there. I, was like, I didn't know I was going up there, you know? Yeah, just but exploring. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was risky because he's trying the trick. Yeah. So it was very like lucky that that worked out. But, um, yeah, no, I'm super hyped on that photo. Yeah. If you yeah. were communicating story, and like, yeah. it just like happened to work out he kept skating he wasn't waiting for yeah no he was ride, not waiting so, yeah I mean, luckily it just worked out yeah if we were in la in that situation i'll just text him or call him sure but you know yeah over there it's a whole different thing you gotta get a sim card oh and the yeah whole thing mm -hmm. yeah it becomes a quite quite a bit yeah. Yeah. that's awesome dude damn yeah <laughs> stuck you like that one thing yeah that was, that was great really photo. really tight dude, a lot of your yeah. photos man like super interest there's one photo of it was like a plaza but then there was like a the, this middle part and this guy he was tray flipping on flat ground or something okay. with a shadow um you know what i'm talking about is there water coming up god i don't remember i was just focused in on it was like this above shot yeah and the, the skater was like in this in the middle of this circle oh, oh. With the, i don't know if he was doing a tray flip or something is but he pushing is it maybe is he was it, pushing is I don't, it, I don't, uh i think i know the one you're talking about okay um, i wish i could pull it up right now but it's of I think it's of Ronnie Kessner doing a push in New York oh, with, like, yeah. with people around. It's like a, a reddish type ground, maybe. Oh, it's in color. Yeah. Oh. I think. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Great description, though, Chris. Yeah. It's a circle with a cir <laughs> somebody in the middle. I'm not too sure. Mm. We'll flash it up on the screen if we can here. Okay. And then you could go back. When you're watching it, you'll be like, ah, yes. That yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can text me about it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> That's the one. No, but a lot of your photos. I mean, you got the 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 this one right behind you, the New Balance cover with the plane flying right over. Yeah, the bowl. That is amazing. Yeah, this one is like insane. The uh, the <gasps> spot is it's a skate park in um, the Gold Coast, mm. and uh, it's literally like bowl, and then what do you call it? Like with land the planes airport airport right there. Friggin, yeah. Runway runway. Yeah. Yeah. Just the runway is right there. And, uh, it's funny because we were on a DC trip and, um, there was meant to be a demo at the skate park and I had it in my head. I was like, Oh my God, we're going there and I'm going to shoot like Evan or like T funk just doing something crazy in the like deep end of the bowl. And, uh, it ended up raining and they didn't skate it and whatever. And, I flew back to Melbourne where I was living at the time and Chris Ray also like saw the opportunity to shoot it mm. and uh, he went back with Bugs Fardell and he shot a photo with the plane in there and everything and I was like man that's so sick like you did it you know and I think he made a video of it as well and then another um, photographer in the Gold Coast Tamis Kiefer he also shot the same thing and a few years go by and we find ourselves I'm living in uh, America at this point find ourselves going back there on a New Balance trip. 
and we're driving past the Gold Coast from uh, Brisbane to Sydney. So we're going uh, down the coast and we stop at the skate park and I was like, fuck, like, I really want to get someone doing something here, you know? And it was first thing in the morning and no one really wanted to skate. And so I'm like, please, like, please, <laughs> like, please, you know? <laughs> Are you down in the bottom of the bowl? I'm at the bottom people? of the bowl begging, like, <laughs> please do something. Uh, everyone's like, not really that down. I'm like, it looks so crazy. Just please do something. And Marius was down and uh, he just, uh, he 5 would it. And uh, I think I actually liked that at the end of the day because 5-0, it's just so like timeless. Mm -hmm. It's an easy trick. You see it, boom. Like if yeah. I had Evan doing a crazy air, people would just be like, what, what? like that's not real, you know? Yeah. So right. yeah. And plus you got two air, like, you know, you got two, you got an airplane and somebody doing an air. For sure. Like the, but that was the vision. I was like, that oh was my the God, vision. It's just going to be first. crazy oh, okay. because it's just going to be flying, you know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> but uh, he's just 5 0 So it's like, it's easier to like understand the photo. But I mean, like timing something like that out seems to be like a bit much. Like you have yeah. to tell him yeah. like, hey, you let and me know when the plane's coming. You have to be doing this 5-0 exactly when this yeah, plane's like above you. Yeah, we probably probably took like an hour. Yeah. Multiple so how planes. How many planes have flew over? Maybe like seven. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. wow. Damn. They come like every 10 minutes and there are bigger ones and smaller ones. So yeah. You just got like a fish eye and just chill at the bottom? Is Pretty that much. You, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wow. had a, my fish eye there and like it was super early in the morning, so like using flashes and stuff it wasn't gonna like look as good i feel like and mm. i don't know like it's just yeah the if you went to the skate park you'd be like oh my god like you go to fucking skate the hip and you feel the plane above you you know your board yeah. flies away it's, it's so like windy that, really uh, that's that, windy it's yeah it's like that beach where the planes land yeah, right yeah, above yeah, yeah. right uh -huh. above people on the beach like, like miss the people like just land you know? i've yeah. seen that on like instagram or something Ooh, yeah. yeah people go to like celebrate there or something. They, i don't know yeah. where that is it's that it's some remote, like, little island or something. Right. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And a lot of people speak highly of you. Like, Dave Kami was one of your kind of first, you know, like, um, entry point or mm -hmm. contact with, like, another... Because yeah. he was, he was doing like big... a mentor, almost. He was doing like, big right? things. Yeah. yeah um, Mark Barber was my first mentor. Okay. He ran a um, New Zealand Skateboarder Annual which was once a year in New Zealand along with um, Manuel, who Dave Reed ran. Um, and I just um, went out skating to try shoot photos of me, like me skating with Mark Barber. And he was like the guy to shoot with. Okay. Um, and as I got hurt and this stuff happened, I kind of told him, I was like, hey, I got a camera. Is there any way like you can help me get better and stuff? And uh, he literally helped me out with everything. He like you know, taught me what to do here and like how to put the lights and what camera to get or like what like equipment to get. Sick. And uh, yeah, like uh, Mark eventually put me on to Dave's stuff. So I didn't really know like Dave, who Dave was at that point. And Barber was like, you should go on this guy's website and like search, like have a look and do some homework. He um, is from New Zealand and he's living in America, like doing what you're telling me you want to do. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, like, it's, it's give me the website yeah <laughs> it's possible it's possible it's possible and um he gave me his website i went home and i just studied all of dave's photos and uh he in the website he had this contact part so i'm like hey dave like it's jake uh darwin from new zealand i really um love your photography and i want to like become a photographer as well uh if i send you some photos will you like uh give me some critique and like never heard back mm. i was like it's all good you know i understand yeah. he's on the road and he's big time you know he's, yeah. uh, to big, me big he's time like dave huh? to me he's like un like untouchable untouchable like mm -hmm. I, I don't know how i'm gonna reach him send another email like hey dave just me again you know <laughs> <laughs> trying, like, trying to hit him up and uh whatever i don't get in contact with him and then one day i was in photography class and i got an email and it was from dave and he was like hey jake like just saw the new manual magazine like you're, you're killing it like keep it up and stuff and i was like oh my gosh like yo i've been you have you seen any of my emails like I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to hit you up for a long time and he was like no that's that that email you've been trying to write to me on it doesn't exist anymore like it doesn't doesn't work this is my email address so uh from there me and dave started to have like a um connection just like hitting each other back with photos and uh yeah Rad. that's how that happened yeah. okay but, uh, talented dave commie is oh, uh, yeah. the best you yeah. know 
but um so but rad. it's rad though it's it's almost like you know all all we want is like our peers to be stoked mm-hmm. and Definitely. like thumbs up what we're for doing for sure yeah you know yeah and to have everybody in the industry kind yeah. of like giving you the stamp oh because dave to me is like one of the greatest photographers in mm. skateboarding of all time cuz he showed me like a blueprint of like what to do for like Kiwi photographers, like yeah. for the whole of New Zealand, you know, Yeah. New Zealand's very tight knit. It's like a community. So he, uh, you know, what he's done for New Zealand skateboarding is massive. For sure. So without him being in the position he was in shooting for Transworld and all these other companies traveling the world, maybe I wouldn't have known that was possible. It's so, so interesting. Really? So seeing him do that was like, oh, it's like you, Ollie Atenstier. I'm a try Ollie Tins there. So that yeah, was kind of what it was. Yeah. If you can do this, I think I can do this. There's kind of like a roadmap laid out already. Yeah. You know? yeah. He hmm. just told me you should move to Australia. You should like get to know a lot of people from there. From there, you should go to America. Do the same thing, you know? And that's exactly what you did. Yeah, I had, that's, the, that's what I did, yeah. That was, uh, because, you, because that was yeah. the roadmap. That was the map because you have to come up three different times, you know? Yeah. You got to get everyone's trust in New Zealand and then do it again in Australia. Come to America. No one really knows who you are. You got to do it again. I feel like it's the same exact thing for skateboarders. It is, yeah. It's like some have an easy route, and, yeah. they, and it just happens so quick, and mm-hmm. boom, they're they're here. Yeah. And others, it's these hoops going through distributor flow, and going through this, mm-hmm. and going through that, and then going to America, and then trying to ha- hanging out with the people, and like there's a lot, like Canada especially too, you know, yeah. Canadian skaters. Mm-hmm. Sure. No, there's so many people that yeah. like have to, you know, I went to Brazil recently, and seeing what they have to do, like. It's it's crazy. There are so many amazing Brazilian skateboarders that just maybe don't get the shine they deserve. Right, um, right. And how they have to come up, like coming to America, can't speak English. Like, it's it's insane. It's a lot. You know? A lot of them do it though. I no, mean, so it's it's definitely possible. No doubt. It's one hundred percent possible. It's just you you know like you just have to go for it. Yeah. It's all it. it is is going all in. Like, do you want this? And when I was in Brazil, I had so much respect just because everyone there is so nice and they just love skateboarding. It's mm-hmm. like, it's really, really cool. So when you had, when you went into like, you know, you went from New Zealand to like Melbourne, you st- then started hooking up with like Tommy Finn and all these guys. Yeah. So, Jake Hayes. Uh-huh. Shane O'Neill. So, Shane O'Neill. Yeah, yeah. So how that happened was um, I was living in Australia and Tommy came back on a trip for two weeks just to skate in Auckland. And uh, my friend Kalis that was filming, he was like, hey, Tommy's coming to town. You can come and shoot photos of him if you want. I was like, oh, my God. Took time off school, whatever I had to do, because I have to be there. He's a legend, bro. Yeah, Yeah. Mm -hmm. have to be there. So he comes to town. We're skating. Everything's cool. And uh, we get some photos. And at the end of the two-week trip, we go to get some pizza with him and his cousin Randall. And we're sitting at the, like, restaurant or whatever. And he's like, hey, bro, like, you should come back with me to brisbane and live with my like mom at my parents house for like a couple weeks or whatever and help me finish this interview like there's a really good opportunity there because melbourne has a photographer sydney has a photographer perth has a photographer brisbane there's like a good opening that's all he had to tell me i was like sweet book my tickets (laughs) i'm out wow yeah so you stay with the finn family stayed with the Finns, and then he went on a trip and uh that's when i got to meet like Alex and Dennis, Pedro Day, Phil Joe, all these other guys that then like I stayed with them for a bit and like, yeah, Brisbane mm. has a really cool crew. So, uh, yeah. Were you, so did you move to Brisbane or Melbourne? I moved to Brisbane first. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. And so I moved in with Pedro Day and Phil Joe because um, this was a, f- a few months later. Once I came back, I was like, cool. I had my little stint there. Like, all right, mom, like I'm moving overseas, mm. you know, tell my family I'm out and off I went. You know, she's wow. like, "What about soccer? What? What about soccer?" I said, "Sorry, I can't do anything for you." <laughs> nah, but uh, you know, that's that was my dream, and all I needed to be told was the path. Right. And so once I knew, like, someone believed in me, mm-hmm. Tommy could have told me anything, and I would have been like, "I believe it," because you know, you're telling me you you've you're in the industry. Like, I want to like get in there. Sure. So, um, how not, how old were you when you went to Tommy's? I was like uh, eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh. So I'd been working a little bit and saving some money. So I had enough to like buy a flight, but I didn't have much money to like pay rent or anything. That's where Pedro and Phil were like, hey, you can live with us and we'll like bring you in. And whenever you get paid, like just help out. Mm. And like I owe so much to them because that was like nearly the biggest pivotal like change for me, you know, like having somewhere to stay and just skating every day. You know, Mm, I didn't have a job when I moved there. 
you know? Right. I no was more just, fruit factory? No. Yeah, no, no fruit factory. <laughs> it was factory. one down the road. I said, I'm not going there. You know? <laughs> What um, was it called? Fruit uh, World. Fruit World, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fruit World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, fruit, factory. fruit Factory. That's nice. I like that. It's a good one, right? <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. yeah. I could be the competitor over there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, that was like the, the main thing. That was almost the, that was the turning point. That was the turning point was just like Tommy saying that he believed in me and that I should move there. And that's all I needed to hear. Wow. Yeah. When you moved to Melbourne, you, Melbourne already has a photographer. Mm. Are you now thinking like, oh, if I move here, maybe I'm going to start yeah. competing with this dude? or Kind of, yeah. Like, uh, not in that way because, you know. There's a lot of skaters out there. There are a lot yeah. of skaters and there's yeah. a lot of clicks as well. But sometimes I'm thinking like maybe in the back of your head, you're like, oh, man, like now I'm going to be going up against somebody else or is he going to like me? Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in a... Who was it, by the way? Jason Murray and Andrew Mapstone. Yeah, well, Mappy. Mappy. Uh, Mappy. Yeah. Yeah. Mappy. And they're running the show, you know? Yeah. They're like the legends of there. Fast times, so, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I moved to Melbourne a little bit later, and um, I just, like, found a little crew. I was skating with um, Lee Bolton, who's, like, an amazing filmer, a good friend of mine, and he was doing uh, DC stuff. So he would have the DC team come in, and it was just, like, there's three different crews in Melbourne, but everyone's friends. Sure. You know, so it's really cool, but... I would just go skate with Lee, and that's how I kind of like got into the crew in Melbourne. Ah, is yeah. that how you got into the DC world? Also, exactly. Yeah, mm, that was the that was the plug. When you got into the DC world, was it then time to make the jump to move here to America? Um, no, because the DC stuff. Oh, after my first trip, yeah. Okay. That was uh, that leads into a whole different thing, but um, yeah, we did a bunch of like. Um, trips with Lee and with JK's Tommy and everyone and um, yeah like that stuff was really good at the time and yeah what's Blayback he didn't he didn't go on those he weren't he wasn't on those trips no Blayback didn't go on those ones these are just like a local you local know, Australasian okay. team mm. ah gotcha yeah okay but uh where did I you go on the bigger trips yeah yeah for w sure were you working for mainly doing dc stuff or you're trying to just get in the mags out i'm there? just trying to get in the mags i'm doing whatever i can yeah. whenever i can i was never like uh, on a retainer or anything i'm just like with the dc guys with whoever you know yeah. just mm. trying to shoot photos that was all it was is i'm just trying to like skate every day and shoot the coolest stuff i can yeah yeah like um, you're trying to get in the journal and slam yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. yeah yeah exactly right um first cover did you get a cover out there what yeah was, uh, what yeah was yeah it? first cover was with uh pedro day the guy that i moved in with Sick. ironically so it was you're yeah. like hey oh, here's my rent that's yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah 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 and uh that's the paint it forward and he's, yeah. <laughs> and he's like a new zealand legend as well so it was like it was so cool you know wow. sharing like that experience because i think like that might have been his first australian cover so to have that mm. together was like really cool what mag was that yeah. slam slam yeah damn iconic yeah was he uh did you know that you're gonna get the cover no, uh, they, we knew that there was an interview and that Trent um, from Slam had asked us like, hey, we really like the Switchback Side Flip. Can you go back and like try reshoot it like a certain way? Okay. So, okay. So we went back to try shoot it for a cover thinking like that's kind of what he was mentioning, but it just didn't look as good. Huh. Yeah. And so uh, the first photo I was way, way more happy with, but like we tried to just make it better, you know, and um his board like fell in the water because it's, it's like a, uh, on like a loading dock. Okay. And it's a flat gap. So I'm looking from underneath and his board went in the water and that was it. Oh, so okay. we went with the first one. So the oh, first one okay. was the one. The first one was the one. It's always, you, man. It's always it, the first one. Yeah, no, it right? is always the one. It's <laughs> you can't go recreate something. It's the same when you land a trick. It's always yeah. the first one. You retry it. Three hours later, I watched the first one. Oh my God. Yeah. What was I thinking? You know? What did I just I, waste? So, yeah. You know what, though? It's like sometimes when you're a skater, though, you, that feeling you get doesn't come through on that trick. So yeah. you want to yeah, try yeah. it again. For sure. It, it didn't right? feel like you wanted it to. It right? didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%, yeah. right? Yeah. So then you're... Uh, and then... How, so the DC, because you, you came out here to America? Yeah. At what age? Um, I came to America when I was... 25 i believe okay so you spent yeah. a decent amount of time out in brisbane and then melbourne yeah yeah right like five years okay or, yeah like five or six what years. was the move then to get to america were you just like was there an opportunity or um, were you just like hey i gotta this is i gotta go do this yeah so i just wanted to make the move because i've been doing a lot of like three months six months stints over the years just over summer 
um, like everyone does, it's not from America. They come when it's like you sure. know June, mm-hmm. July when it's summer holidays, and it's winter everywhere else. Um, and yeah, I came over and I was like, I need to really make the move now. And the visa process, it takes a while. It costs a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and I did that, and that's actually how it transitioned into the New Balance job because. I was back home in New Zealand and I got my passport back. This is in 2017. And I uh, got an email from Seb, ah. at Seb at New Balance. And he was like, uh, hey, Jake, like, I uh, hope all is well. I heard um, you're getting, you just got your visa and you're moving to America. Like, would you like a job at New Balance? Wow. And like, <laughs> okay. bro, when I saw that, I was like, Oh my God. Like this You're like, is for photography, no, right? Not packing boxes. Not and packing, shit. Yeah, I was like, this is like what I've dreamed of, you know, like seeing him write that. Cause right. I've always had that as a goal, you know, hmm. that that would be uh, something that I could eventually get because you know, like all these other photographers, like Blayback with DC. So like legendary yeah. Brian gave him with element. So legendary, like a at Vans, mm-hmm. but new balance had never had that. Right. So I was like, oh my gosh, one day, because I'd been on two trips previous with, previously with them. I was like, I would love to have that chance with New Balance. But I'd never said it, but I had like, you know, I'd Hoped. written it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like I'd hoped that it would happen. And uh, he sent me that email and I was just like, I think I wrote back within 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. like, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, tell me, you tell me where I need to go, uh, I'll be there. So, uh, so amazing. Yeah, no, shout out to Seb. Like he runs the best ship over at New Balance and like, yeah. You no. literally came here into a job at yeah. New Balance. No, like right. I yeah. love that. No. And then also just being here and doing this, it's like crazy. Yeah. yeah. And you'd already met the team. Yeah. You've yeah, gone yeah. on tours yeah. with them. For sure. So you fit right in. Over made there, sense. So yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Right. I think back in the day, especially when we were, you know, photographers made good money. Right. Probably mm-hmm. more than filmers sometimes. It was like, you know, filmers would, you know, get like whatever, $30 a clip or whatever. The, the photographers had the opportunity to send, you know, to at all the magazines, yeah. Trans World, this, $500 for this. Oh, here's an ad for this company. They paid me 1500 Whatever the prices are, I'm just mm-hmm. making stuff up right now. How is it, though, nowadays? I feel nowadays of photographers, you need to be in with the company. Mm-hmm. If not, what are you doing? You're, there's one magazine, Thrasher. Of course, there's other magazines across the world. Mm-hmm. But what are we talking about here? I mean, I think if you're in America, yeah, there's the one magazine. But if mm-hmm. you're in Europe, there's like free, there's, there's whole, gray, there's sure. like so it's a whole different, you know. But are you are you do you have the opportunity here to send photos to yeah. gray and free and all For that? Sure, yeah. And is it still good money to do that though? Um, that's the thing. I feel like all of us. That's not the the. The thing we're doing it for, you know? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. But you know what I mean, though. Yeah. It's like we, we love skateboarding, but yeah. obviously, like, we have a certain lifestyle that we need to... For sure. You got to pay the bills. Yeah. 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 Day, yeah. Um, I mean, like what you said, you definitely have to be in with a company. Sure. Um, I think I was, like, a part of that last uh, generation where there were a lot of magazines coming out. So, that mm-hmm. was how I could survive. So, for now, a photographer coming up... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not tough, too sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd yeah. have to get in with a company. It's like, you know, there, I'm sure there's a lot of aspiring photographers out there. 100%, yeah. The kids out there, they're out with their crew. They, yeah. they see you. They see Oliver Bartok. They see, yeah. you know, all these people. For sure. Bartok, I just, it's, it's a nickname that I call it. I was like, wait, Bartok. Yeah, <laughs> never heard of Bartok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bartok. Love you, Barton. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, people and it's like how do people nowadays break into it there's such a small little yeah. area yeah um, in skateboarding yeah i really sure. i was just that like generation before so i i can't really like answer it but right. i'm just so fortunate to like yeah be in in a position where you know like i can pay the bills and i can like uh live off this you mm-hmm. know because you know we work so hard to to get to this point but um you know so many other people work hard Absolutely. There's so many other photographers out there that are so deserving for a job, but it's just hard because, yeah, there aren't that many companies. Yeah. And maybe it comes down to a, a point, too, where it's like if you're getting good over here, there's a lot of like photographers that obviously get older. They love skating, but then they're going to move into like a different type of photography or yeah. work for different companies, which mm-hmm. maybe leave an opening yeah. at a company, too. But there's yeah, also yeah. timing, you know, there's that timing also in totally. the, the network of people you know. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like if you've met people throughout the years, for him to call you or not call you, but send you an email oh. and it was out of the blue, right? It was out of the blue. I 
I mean, that resi- you made a you know yeah. a big impact on him enough to For do sure. that. For sure, yeah. I think in your case, you just did what you loved and you just followed it. Yeah. And it yeah, led I, you right here. It's amazing. Yeah, I just did whatever I could, honestly, to, yeah. to be here. Like, I yeah. didn't have a room until I was 25. I was living off the couch. Like, people, everyone does that. But, like, yeah. I had no money for so long, which, like, I didn't care about that. It was all about just skating and shooting cool photos. And that's all I thought about. Yeah, it's so interesting. I I feel for, you know, like the up and coming filmers and photographers, because it's like, you take a photo, it's like, hey, send that to me so I can post on my Instagram. Yeah. You're like, dude. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I just climbed this bill. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, that's the way it's going. Right. So it's like, you either get lost or you you keep up. You keep up. Yeah. 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 It's interesting. You're in this world where you're, with all the skaters, but you're living a different life than them. Mm-hmm. They're all talking together each other about how they can get sponsored and all these things. And yeah. you're trying to figure out how you can do what you do, but you don't have yeah. a lot of people to relate to at that point, right? Yeah. Like how, you have a you like mean? Dave, like uh, you know, like just trying to come up as a photographer. Yeah. It's like it's not like, oh, go do a trick here and then whatever, but you have to like Yeah. I don't know. It seems like a wild ride. But it's also yeah. building the relationships too, yeah. with the with, with Slam and Journal sure, yeah. and like yeah. all these other mags too. It's That's like yeah. big. They people in the industry talk right. Mm-hmm. Skateboarding is such a small world, yeah. you know that you could just, oh hey, this guy's coming to America, hey trans world thrasher whoever, hey t- you know, do you think you got anything for my boy over mm-hmm. here? You know, it's it's for word sure. of mouth as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. I mean, um, I feel like a lot more back in the day there was a lot more um, how people from overseas would have that with companies like hey, we've got an Australian like or a New Zealand rider that uh, is on girl mm-hmm. and he'll come skate with you guys, right? Right. Yeah. Like something like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It's interesting because like always, you'd always hear like, oh yeah, uh, this guy skates for chocolate. And you're like, yeah, like hmm? who? What? They're like, they're like, oh, he's a, no, yeah, he's yeah, Australian. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, wait a minute. That's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I never understood. I mean, I do understand, but it's always like, you know, like a Tommy Finn or yeah. these guys. It's just like, what, what what what's up with these borders? Like, oh you're, yeah. You, if you're on chocolate, you're on chocolate. Like, right. don't be on chocolate for yeah. New Zealand or, yeah. or, or Australian distributors because mm-hmm. you're not on chocolate. Yeah, you're on distributor chocolate for sure or whatever company yeah. we're talking yeah. about. You're on flow. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, there's so many skaters. That's what I love with uh, what Shane does at April. It's mm-hmm. like you're on, you're on. Right. You know, there's no yeah. uh, distributor flow. There's none of that because right. it wants he wants it to be as like clear as possible. Yeah. So look what Primitive's doing. I mean, they have ra- riders all over the world. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. Do yeah. you do you w- work for April as well, or you just help Shane out with stuff? Yeah, or? like um, I pretty much just do all the photography for him, um, and we just like sort it out as we go. But yeah, I've just been there from the beginning, um, which has been like really cool. Just seeing it from the ground up, you know. Yeah. Um, and he's obviously like such an amazing skateboarder, and he's assembled like the craziest team. And uh, all friends, though, that's the coolest thing, you know? Like, yeah. uh, Yuto and Haisa and yeah. Ronnie ish, Guy, like, it's so sick. Yo yo. I think yeah. it's so important in a company these yeah. days. Yeah. You sure. can't fake the funk. Yeah. Nah, you can't just have, yeah. like, well, you can. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> you but at the end of the day, if you, want, if you want people to really, like, fuck with the team, like, you have to have that little synergy and that little, For sure. you know, that vibe. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, uh, that's why, like, having someone like Yo-Yo, he just brings so much energy. It's so like, Definitely. yeah. He's like the hype man. Oh, he's the hype man. And he's like, yeah, he's skating so good right now. Hell and like, yeah, yeah he's, he's the sickest. Sh- yeah. Shout out, bro. Yo-Yo, you yeah. definitely yeah. always, bro. Always has a smile. Always he's hella funny, too, man. Oh, he, he's so funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's like, great. Hanging out with him. And then I forgot to, yeah, just like, everyone is like, so mm-hmm. sick, you know? And same with New Balance. That's the thing that we, I mean, we often talk about the New Balance about thing. It's sure. like, yeah. They put together such an amazing crew over there who mm-hmm. work there. It's like all these skaters and New Balance listens to all these guys. Yeah. Corpro, yeah. I should say, like listens to all the skaters. They run their own program. Yeah. Like it's pretty amazing what they've uh, accomplished. Yeah, and, yeah with and a small together. team, bro. And it's, it's. Uh, I think that shit is amazing. I've, I've definitely speak, I spoke on it before. Yeah. Like, yeah, they've got that little dream team over there. For sure, know? yeah. Like, definitely. What Seb's, what Seb's done with New Balance Numeric, like, Starting off with Arto, PJ, Tom K, and Levi, and like mm-hmm. growing it slowly from there, you know, adding like Jordan Taylor, um, Tyler Sari, Trahan slowly, and then they have input now. Who do they want to get on? You know, you like that? Or, right. And it's just, uh, even to today, I mean, then they started adding like 
Jamie Foy, Brandon Whiskey, Tiago. It's like, bro, it's yeah. it's insane. The Tiago thing was crazy. Yeah, that was a big yeah. move, when dude. That bro- yeah. I mean, that was big you picture move. Tiago in DCs for life. For sure. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then to hear he went to New Balance and now you're seeing him in New Balance, it was like, whoa. Yeah. yeah big, and, crazy. Huge. And like going to Brazil and going to Vale, the um, plaza, and seeing everyone wear New Balances, like oh, yeah. it's a Tiago effect. He's, you know... He He's, definitely has an effect. Yeah, that yeah. that shook the industry right there. People were like, "Whoa, that's a gnarly move." Dude, that yeah. doesn't happen yeah, too often. It isn't not, not anymore. Like people move like, around, it's like NBA but NBA trades. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people move around, but like when that shit happened, we we're yeah, it was huge. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And um, I mean, those guys just being a part of that and being able to shoot them in this like from when they've got on and, and document the history of New Balance right now, mm-hmm. that's like really special to me. So that's why I'm still just like, whatever I need to do, like I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. And I'm just so grateful to be in this position and like being around these guys is so good at skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Skateboarding's so hard to do, you know, like <laughs> fucking skateboarding. Well, nah. Hey nah, dude, bro, yeah. you're, you're, you, dude. you're fucking good as no, fuck too. You trick no. me out, bro. No. No. You make yeah. me laugh, almost make me laugh when I'm watching your shit. Cause I'm like, what? The fuck's this dude doing? I bug, I bug out on that <laughs> yeah. shit too, bro. I definitely seen some of your little Instagram clips, yeah. and I'm like, all right, man. Like some of the shit I ain't even seen before. There's some yeah. shit. Nolly There's Big a couple Flip. MBDs there. Yeah. The Nolly yeah. Big Flip tail. Yeah. It's like, dude, I've never even thought of that. Yeah. That was amazing. A- no, thank you. I'm I'm stoked. It just mm-hmm. like uh, just time consuming skating ledges, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like for you, switch flip manual. How long did that take? That was easy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it took days. Yeah. It took days. It yeah. took weekends. You could only go in there on the weekends. Yeah. It, it took a it took a while. Yeah. You know? But then once I did it, I did it three times that wow, day. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. like it's skating's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. But yeah. also skating with people that are better than you. Mm-hmm helps a lot because sure. i can you can analyze what they're doing how yeah. they're doing it like for sure it makes you a lot better well it, it makes you think you it's easier but you watch skate with shane you're like oh that looks mad easy and then you try like what the f- this dude's oh, incredible yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i was gonna say that like um so when i first came to america um and i went and stayed with shane like um a few weeks into my trip and we didn't even go and shoot photos. We just skated um, the park. Sick. We skated the old, um, Paul's old park. Right, mm-hmm. right. And uh, we would just try learn tricks all the time. And I'd see his process and he would learn tricks and he would just go film them. So I kind of just like over the years, I've just applied that. Like I'll land tricks before I go film them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For um, sure. So I'm not wasting people's time because I hate right. wasting the, the filmer's time, you know? I'm like, fuck. <sighs> Well, I saw that story. In my I, think life. You, I think you posted on your Instagram story where you did the Nolly Book of Tail and like I hit the spot in Brazil. Oh, bro! <laughs> so what? no, there's way more to that. I <laughs> I tried that trick for seven days, like, and I know people will be like, seven? Why didn't you try eight days?" I'm like, "Bro, I know I should have, but I couldn't. I didn't want to do it anymore. You know, I did it at the skate park and I tried to film it a few times in the streets and I landed one like kind of sketchy, one all right, and then the one at Vale where it's like." person goes in front of the camera oh my god and uh dude. you know it's like four hours at a like a time because i'm just trying until i like am completely cooked exactly yeah. Yeah. wait someone got in the way someone got in the way yeah Ugh. like perfectly but, got like right in the way of him doing yeah the and, and that's the only angle like whatever yeah Ugh, oh and uh god. that's just how it is it's the plaza you're skating so it's like Jeez. you gotta know that already yeah you know? but uh that's why i was like umming and ahhing i was like can i use this other one i have or should i just use the skate park one and I just used a skate park uh, one. Oh, uh, okay. That was awesome, though. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I feel like with just ledge skating, it's just, uh, it just takes time, you know? For yeah. sure. But when yeah. you get into the Jamie Foys and the, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and even Tiago with some of the stuff he does, you're like, bro, what? Like, yeah. how are you doing this? How is your body doing this? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I always also trip on your skating, too, because you always skate some crazy ass basketball shoe. Oh, or like, yeah. Why, why, that makes it look like that would make it harder. Um, why, why, why do you choose these shoes to skate in? Um, I was skating like the Omni Ones, which uh, is like the first New Balance basketball shoe. Yeah. Um, I was playing basketball in them and I was like, fuck, these are really nice. Like <laughs> you could skate these for sure. And uh, the material felt like it would rip, but I was like, I'm just going to try it, you know? And I had a session and I was like, this is like the best shoe ever. Like <laughs> can for sure skate these. So I got a bunch more, started skating them, tried some other pairs of shoes, skated those, like 
It's they're just shoes, you know. Sure. The sole yeah. wasn't didn't seem thick at all. Nah, it was so Amazing. good. Yeah. And I think I guess it, when you overthink shit, then obviously it's gonna yeah, fuck with you. It, but if you just like I'm fucking skate this shit, yeah, it, it works. <laughs> it's always gonna, uh, you know, like if you don't try these shoes, it's gonna trip you out because you're used to skating like mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Man, I, or, I remember uh, we made some S shoes that were like some hikers, so like chilling. And Wade Desarmo, like he's so specific on what he likes to skate, like this certain model, whatever. I sent him a pair of those, and for some reason. He sent me an edit of him skating in the hiker shoes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I love this shit. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I, like, you would never expect, I don't know, sometimes just random shoes yeah. just feels good. For sure. Even if they're not meant for skating. It's weird. And they look fly, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to be looking good in the shoes you're skating, and sure. no one else is skating these, so let me get mine, you know? Let me totally. try to get there. Totally. So, That's amazing. Let me yeah. ask you a question, random. Um, since you like looking fresh and shit and you go on trips, do you overpack or do you underpack? I underpack. You when I'm underpack. on trips, I'm super dusty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. When I'm super dusty. When I, when <laughs> I, I would figure that you no. overpack. Right. Sure when I, I, yeah. <laughs> just dissing myself. Um, <laughs> well, when I'm like just shooting photos, like I'm going to be on the gutter. I'm going to be climbing this. I'm going to get everything dirty. There's no oh. need to, you know, but you, you pack accordingly. For sure. Like, mm. but if I'm going to try do a trick, I want to be looking like I, gonna land it or like feel good you know right right i want to be happy with the outfit yeah. <laughs> but if i'm wearing something dusty oh fuck it up yeah. redo the trick you know yeah yeah That's i tripped out uh, a lot in photographers how dirty they do get oh for sure i never really thought about that yeah. until like seeing the homies that literally get in the gutter yeah uh, in in the actual water in oh, the gutter for yeah. sure just yeah, to yeah. get a photo you're like yeah. damn okay no I've, I've definitely been in some like hectic situations but uh the craziest ones are when you're like contorted like like mm. this, for example, or you're in a tree, right? You're shooting someone for a few hours or doing whatever. They land the trick. Next morning, just fucking so Done. sore. Wow. Like, oh, yeah. like, what the hell happened? I didn't do anything. So <laughs> sore. But you're in a and weird, like, awkward yeah. position. I was in the damn tree. For a second. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, thank you for the uh, bringing us the X Games medal. We really appreciate it. I've always wanted a gold medal hanging... <laughs> Hanging off yeah. the... Yeah. Yeah, Chris uh -huh. actually has been asking... I mean, he was looking for the Olympic medal, right? I wanted some Olympians to bring in their gold medals. Yeah. And so I can hang them I guess off. that's okay. Yeah, yeah you want to decorate in the background. <laughs> Basically, yeah, we need Yuto's medal. But, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, but uh, congrats on that. You, you've won a lot of stuff. Mm. You've got the... Uh, you got the X Games. What is it? What was this from? This was the X Games photo of the Marius um, 5-0. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So that was that one. Um they have like a competition where they yeah just like you send in photos and uh whichever one wins wins the medal you win the gold it's yeah. pretty heavy damn yeah i hate to break this to you it's probably gold plated yeah yeah I was doesn't just, feel real uh, i'd have to bite it yeah yeah <laughs> you can bite it if you want <laughs> can i bite it i'll let you bite that you could bite that i'm willing to guess that it's gold plated yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about any other uh, accolades and achievements? Uh, yeah, there was this one other one. Um, it was called the Olympus Pro Photographer Showdown. Okay. Um, but it was super weird. How it happened was uh, I got like, I was living in Melbourne at this point and I got a email and it said like, hey, um, there's four weeks to enter this like uh, pro photographer, like Olympus Showdown competition. Okay. You have to submit like a seven minute slideshow and this will like be your submission and i was like oh seems kind of like weird you know hmm. not like not that down this was like an email you got it was or? just an email and like it's hard to trust the internet you know yes so i kind of saw it and i, I was like deleted that thing immediately for sure i did so i spammed it and then i get another one three weeks uh, like a week later three weeks to go two weeks to go one week to go i'm like bro what's going on i just keep getting this email and then it said like one day until like you've got to enter so I didn't like f I didn't follow through with it. I was like I don't I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not doing this. So um this is at the end of 2016 and I uh, I'm flying back to New Zealand for summer to go see my mom and everyone. And I'm on the plane and I get like a bing bing and I look down at my phone and it's like congratulations like you've been uh nominated to be in the Pro Photographer Olymp uh, Olympus Pro Photographer Showdown. You've automatically won like an Olympus camera. You and a friend can come and stay in uh, Whistler in Canada. Uh, free hotel for five nights. Free um, <laughs> free snowboard pass and everything. I'm like, Delete. Bro. 
I literally looked at it before we got on the plane, like as we're like leaving, and we go in the sky, and I'm like, huh, that was weird. Like. What the hell? It seems too good to be true. Well, especially because you didn't submit anything. I did not that's submit it. anything. So that's why that's I'm like, bro, there's scammers out here. Yeah. But anyway. It's a pretty good scammer. It does look <laughs> Very great. persistent. Oh, I'm like, wow, yeah. Very so persistent. Uh, I land in New Zealand. I go about my day, whatever. And then two days later, I get an email from this lady, Jamie Kerrigan. And she's like, hey, I'm the director of this competition in Whistler. Are you in or out? And I'm like, like, are you real? <laughs> like, is this a real competition? And she's like, yeah, we've previously had uh, Jonathan Mearing and Brian Gabeman. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Like, this is a real thing. She's yeah. like, yeah, check this. Oh, like, she's name dropping. She's no, name dropping. Right, she's like, dope. check this. These are the previous like entry, uh, people that have entered the competition. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is this is crazy. Okay, like, I'm, I'm going to do this. And I talked to Cole Matthews and he's like, bro, Brian Gabeman did it. And he said it was like the best experience ever. So I was like, I have to go and do this, you know? Wow. So I have to submit my slideshow within a month. So I fly back to Melbourne like two weeks later and I'm working on it with my friend James James. And um, Excuse me? James James. <laughs> that's the, film, James, that's James, the James. filmer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two first names. Yeah, yeah. James James who films with Shane. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> James Magnus James. That's his full name. Um, Wait, so his parents literally named him James? James. James James. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, That's awesome. Great. Kelly That's Kelly. Amazing. Yeah, it's like, it's like, <laughs> That's amazing. Great parents. Uh, wow. That, I, I was it. wondering, is that a nickname? Like, oh, yeah, it's kind of funny. But it makes like, so much sense. Like, uh, James James sounds so good, but like Kelly Kelly sounds like no, kind of random. Yeah, very yeah. random. James James is good. <laughs> it works. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I make the slideshow and everything's good. And uh, I asked my best friend, Kale, I'm like, would you want to come with me? And he's like, bro, I'd love to come. Like, uh, I can get time off work and we'll go. F it's just for five days. Sick. So we'll go to Canada and we'll just have like the best time ever. And whatever happens, happens. And he was down. And uh, anyway, fast forward a few days and we're leaving in like a week from now. And uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the city in Melbourne and I'm at this club and I'm with Alex Lawton, my friend. And uh, he's like, bro, like, I wish I was going to Canada with you. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, but like you're taking Kale, right? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> what kind of move is this? Bro, I was like, yeah, I'm going with Kale. And he's like, man, I just wish I could be there. And like, uh, I just like, oh, and I'm like, bro, it's all good. You know, like it's, it's all good. And he's like, I just, you just, you're going to win. And I just want to like be there with the bros. And I just want to like, you know, support you. I'm like, you could support from back here, you know, it's all good, <laughs> you know? And um, he's like, oh, bro, I just wish I could be there. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, have you even seen the slideshow? And he's like, no. And I was like, well, do you want to go outside and like, I'll show it to you. So I show him the slideshow. He's watching it and like two minutes in, he's like nearly crying. I'm like, bro, is this the alcohol? Like, what's going on right now? And he's getting all emotional. He's like, I just wish like I could be there with my bro and I just want to like, you know, support you. And I'm like, bro, I'll get you a flight if you want, you know? And he's like, you won't do it. I'm like, I'll get you a flight. It's all good. Like, if we go home right now and I don't, like, we don't pass out, I'll buy you a flight, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, and he booked Uber straight away. We went back to his house and I booked him a flight to go to Canada with us. And um, I just said, the only condition is that you cannot tell Kale I want you to, like, surprise him on the flight just for, like, something fun, okay. you know? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, the day of... Um, when we're about to fly out, I tell him, get there earlier and like get on the plane before us and do that. I'll text you where we are. So we get on the plane and we're flying. And uh, yeah, Alex like taps Kale on the shoulder and he uh, like surprises him. And Kale's like, bro, what the hell? Like, what are you doing here? Like, you're, are you going to America? Because we're going to go America to Canada. Mm. And he's like, I'm coming to Whistler. Like, I'm coming with you guys like to for the competition. <laughs> and Kale's like, no, you're not. Like, <laughs> you're going to like America to skate. And he's like, no, I promise. Like, I'm, I'm coming with you guys. And uh, he, he swaps seats with the other dude. And now it's like us three, you know. So uh, we all go to Canada and um, we get to Whistler. We go to sleep and we wake up the next morning. And the people that are hosting the event, they're like, can we do a question and answer um, thing so before the um, audience like sees the slideshow mm -hmm. there's like 3,000 people they kind of get to know you okay and uh, yeah sweet so I go there in the morning and they're asking questions like describe the color yellow to a blind person you know like what, w what would you guys say for that what uh, the I, uh, so I never even thought of uh, yeah 
I would be. Yes, I you could get stumped easy on well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yes. That's all yes. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. But, yeah, but, good line. I know, but I, I don't know what else to say. Okay, I said like the sun, like the heat. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, warm, whatever. Warm, doesn't matter if it's... Warmth. Yeah, warmth. Yeah. Anyway, the next question, the final one was, um, if you won the money, what are you going to do with it? Mm-hmm. So I'm the fourth slideshow, so I get to hear like, uh, three other people's answers before me. One of them says like, oh, help like my mom pay her mortgage off. The other person's like, I'm going to get new camera gear. The other person's like, I want to buy like new eyeballs because I want to get like LASIK, you know? Okay. And I'm like, wow, these guys have like really mature answers. And it came to my one, which I'd already pre-recorded. And I was like, I asked the dude interviewing me. I'm like, what's the craziest thing you can do in Whistler? And he's like, oh, it'd for sure be like getting the helicopter over the glaciers and the outback. And I was like, cool, I'm going to do that with like 60 beers and I'm going to take my two best friends with me and we're just going to like party in the sky, you know, if I won. (laughs) That's what I'm going to do. And like everyone's laughing at the like thing, question, answer. I'm like, oh my God, like everyone everyone else's answers were like so legit. And mine's just like... Bro, what? It's like, that's what you're going to go party money? in a helicopter. It's <laughs> yeah. like a frat boy. That's what you're going to spend the money on? But I was like, bro, we're already living it up. Like, let's just go. So uh, anyway, the slideshow comes on and I'm super stoked with how it's going, like regardless of mm-hmm. what the outcome is. And then um, the fifth person, his name's Ben Thuard. He um, lives in Bali and he just travels around there and he's a surf photographer. Mm. Because in this contest, it's like, skate surf snow it's it's a very diverse oh, it's like okay. action sports it's all that sorry i forgot to say that and um you know the other people are like snowboard and skiing and whatever this guy's the only i'm the only skate photographer he's the only surf photographer and his images are like breathtaking like they are mind-blowing photos of uh, people surfing the biggest waves and even just the waves by themselves and sunsets and Damn. everything mm. And his show comes on and everyone's just like, wow. Like you can hear the whole audience just like losing it. And I, yeah, I'm just like, damn, like he won the competition. And uh, Alex is next to me and he's like pretty wasted. And he like, he's like, wow. Oh my God. Like watching this guy's slideshow and he like taps me on the leg. He's like, oh, like we had a good run. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean we had a good run? We're still here. Like, they haven't announced anything. And he's like, oh, I'm like, bro, oh, my God. The dude bro. that was begging to come. Yeah, and, yeah. and, he's, and now he's with the ops. So I'm like, bro, you're with me. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> and um, anyway, the show ends and um, there are two winners. There's like a best in show and then there's a um, crowd favorite. Mm. And um, you kind of already know, like, Ben Thuard's one's going to be best in uh, crowd favorite so they anyway they put the big um plastic containers on the stage and they put a blanket around them and everyone in the audience goes up with a ping pong ball and puts it into which one they think is going to win okay yeah Mm. and uh i put mine into ben's one because i was like that that was like that was moving like that really was insane and uh anyway they lifted up he won Uh and i'm just like cool like all good and i'm standing on stage and i'm like man like I'm so happy just to be here, like watching my two friends down here and we're just like in Whistler. Yeah. We're all kind of like faded. Yeah. And um, I'm just kind of like in La La Land and they're like, and now we're about to announce like the best in show. And I'm like, ah, oh. like here we go, you know, just kind of looking around. And the, they're like, the best in show is Jake Darwin. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> like, that's me. I won. Yeah. Like, I won. What the fuck? <laughs> and I'm tripping out like, that's me and then kale and alex like run up onto the stage and we rip the microphone off the um ho- or the guy announcing it and they start talking and alex who was like turning on me two seconds ago is like that's my dog that's my dog <laughs> he's like he's like hype man he's going yeah. up yeah and um they bring out a bottle of champagne and i've got this like sword and i take the top off and we're just like we're going crazy. Wow. Celebrating life right there. No, man. we are. This is like a feeling like euphoric. Like yeah. I, I was already so proud of just like just being with my friends in another country. Like we all were in that moment of time where we could uh, be there together. Mm, you know, like yeah. it's hard to have schedules match up. Sure. Although Alex's was like, you know, he's really trying to get there. Yeah, 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 but yeah. with yeah. Kale, he's got a like full time job and mm. it's harder for him. But um, man, so yeah, we ended up like 
partying that night and just like it was the best feeling ever we won the show won ten thousand dollars wow and uh i won a bunch of olympus camera gear and uh whatever and then damn i woke up the next morning and i was like oh my god like we got to do this helicopter ride you know i was so just I, about to ask <laughs> yeah so i went downstairs to the concierge and i'm like a zombie and i'm like hey there like um can i book three people for the helicopter ride and she's like oh like today there's like too much fog and, and you can't do it and i was like people here are going to think i'm like a fraud <laughs> right. like i just take it the money i'm just saying the story i'm not going to do it yeah so i was like what's the next craziest thing we can do and she was like it's for sure like going uh ski mobiling in the outback you know in the mm, outback of whistler sick. and i was like book three of them right now like we're gonna go do that so i went up i woke the boys up and uh <laughs> Yeah. After being hung over, like, no, yeah. for real. Woke the boys up. I was yeah. like, hey, we're going on uh, ski mobiles. And they're like, let's go. Because we're just so hyped, you know? Amazing. And um, we never, re like, we don't go snowboarding that much or we're not in the snow. So mm -hmm. that was just like such a crazy experience. So we're riding around and we've already won. Like, we, we all won together. Uh, 100%. You know? Yeah. So I was just so hyped. And uh, yeah, it was a crazy experience. Wow. Yeah. 10,000. How much was the snowmobiles? Uh, I think it was like maybe like 1,200 for three oh, of us. You got to, oh, that's chilling. Still, yeah. Yeah, that's chilling. But um, helicopter ride must have been more, It would have been more. Like yeah. five grand or something. Yeah, I think it was like three yeah. grand or something, but okay. that was besides the point. I was like, whatever we're doing right now, I want to do it like to the like the for fullest. Sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was super cool. And just having that experience with them was like really special. Yeah. And regardless of winning or losing, like I said, when I was on stage, I was just like, I was so content. I was yeah. so happy. It's so, so funny how they wanted you there so badly. Yeah. They were it sending you email after email after email. Then then you get a phone call. Like, like they yeah. wanted you. They bro. wanted me there for sure. Um, wow. Did you ever check the, the exact email? Like, you I know, checked where, where it. it was I, coming I, from? I looked at it last night. No, I'm saying like the first five or six that came your way. Did you look exactly at the email to see? Because usually, it. like you can get a telltale on if that shit is fraudulent or not. Like Gmail right off account. It some just weird says shit. like oh XZ five four. Yeah. Fucking just says some yeah. crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it into spam, and then last night I wanted to just do some research to be like, did that really happen? And I uh, I saw some previous ones where I'd responded, and it was the same email. Oh, like you've got one day okay. left, you know? Because oh. I don't think with the one day left that I. Uh, put that in spam mm. and it was legit yeah oh, as soon as she, oh, she started name dropping if yeah. She, like, yeah oh when she said Haberman, when she i was called. like what and yeah. then marrying john yeah. Perry, i was like yeah yeah wow, that's gnarly to drop like that like this has got to be you're real. not dropping Bi brian gaberman's name out of yeah. nowhere yeah <laughs> yeah and um at that point yeah no one i guess like a skateboarder hadn't won the competition before so like to go on there and like win it for skateboarding Amazing. i was like yes so sick and then oh, french yeah. fred went the previous year the year after me, and then he won as well. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, so Fred went out there. We're on a roll, baby. Because yeah. uh, Fred's slideshow is like next level. Oh, the dear. photos that he shoots yeah. and everything, like, bro, yeah, give he's him the trophy, he's some, you know? He's got some history, that's for sure. Yeah, give, yeah. Him, give him the trophy. So he, I don't know if he had the same experience with the ski mobiles, but I'm sure he had a great time. <laughs> 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 Did you guys drink some beers and go on those things? Uh, no, we didn't take beers because we were so cooked from the night before. Uh, I was yeah. like, I don't think I could look at a beer. That's probably you know? that's probably frowned upon out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely I wouldn't let you. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't know if you guys have been on those things, but they're very like uh, there's not much traction, mm. and we're in the outbacks, so like you're kind of like going around these corners where like it's a huge cliff face. Oh wow! Yeah, like it's it's really sketchy. You just got to follow the guy I, that you're supposed to be. In. For sure, yeah. I was going really slow. I wasn't mm. trying to like play around, but uh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Glad, I'm glad the story ended well. Oh, yeah. Instead of not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it ended, it ended great. They gave me uh, $10,000 in this Ooh. huge, like, uh, novelty check. Okay. And I folded it up and took it on the plane. Oh, seriously? And, yeah. <laughs> and it's back in New Zealand. I wish I could have it back here. Oh, but man. Listen, and, you send it over, we'll put it in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, they gave me a bunch of Olympus gear. And then someone from Olympus reached out, like, hey, how's the cameras going? And I was kind of like, uh, great. But I sold them because uh, I'm Nikon. Yeah. I use Nikon gear. Okay. Uh, so extra bread. Yeah. There you, you go. Know? There you go. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. Made the best of it. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. But, uh, bad, bro. Yeah. Congrats was, on that. Yeah. Fuck. One thing we got to talk about. Yeah. Is I heard this uh, story about uh, getting held up at gunpoint. Oh, yeah. What happened there? Were you out shooting? Yeah. So um, that was insane, that story. Uh, 
pretty much what happened was uh, every quarter, New Balance like send out um, shoes to shoot. You know, you shoot samples mm. and you shoot them for like internal use, Instagram, whatever. Got you. Um, and they sent me, I think it was like 24 pairs to just shoot in the streets, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I do it all the time. I've been doing it for the last three years. Never had a run in. Everything's fine. And uh, I asked my girlfriend, I was like, you want to come with me on like Saturday and we'll just like try and shoot all the shoes. Wow. She's like, yeah, for sure. Like I'm down to help out, whatever you need. Like I can tick the ones off and just like keep track. It's like, okay, cool. So we went out on Saturday and we shot like 20 pairs. And I was like, oh my God, like we killed it, <laughs> you know? Like yeah. we killed it. Tomorrow we only have to do four more pairs before I go skating and like that's all the shoes shot because normally it can take three days, four days, mm. whatever. So I was like, damn, we're on track. So uh, I asked her, I was like, hey, in the morning, should we go have dinner at your, uh, sorry. Breakfast. In the morning, should we go have breakfast at your mum's and um, I'll just like drive around the neighborhood and shoot the shoes there. She's like, awesome, let's do that. So... I've got all my camera gear. We go to her mum's house and I have everything in my trunk. And I'm like, I'm just going to bring you know, my flashes, my camera bag, everything inside. We have breakfast. And I'm like, I'm just, I only need my camera. I don't need all the other stuff. You got light. You got outdoor light. Exactly. So I just have my camera and I put the four pairs of shoes in my trunk. And I'm just like literally driving like around the corner. I'm mm. not even going far, like 300 meters. So I shoot one pair, cool, shoot two pairs, cool. And uh, there's a pair of like black and yellow shoes. So I'm like, oh, like I see this pedestrian crossing, the yellow with the yellow, like yeah. we're onto something. Okay. Like this yeah, is going to yeah. look nice. Yeah. I want to like- And it's probably the street, right? So the, the ground was black too, yeah, right? I yeah, I want to make the shoes look cool. I, I try to like do that or okay. try to put in a lot of effort into shooting them. I don't just want to like, you know, not do them justice. Yeah. yeah. So we find the yellow. I'm like, I'm doing it. So put them down shooting 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 i've parked my car across the street and i've got the boot open not really paying attention mm. it's a really nice like neighborhood suburban neighborhood like people are running around like uh like out training and okay babies like in strollers like it's very like very nice and uh i pretty much shoot the shoes and i go to walk to my car and uh as i'm crossing the road this big truck just like pulls up on me like really quick and i was like holy like what the hell was that you know kind of like nearly ran me over huh and he winds his window down he's like hey you and i was like like hey me like how you doing whatever <laughs> and he's like give me that camera and i'm like what like you want what are you talking about you know it's kind it's of all, in shock yeah i yeah. was in so much shock i was like give you my camera like no what are you talking about he opens his door and this, I don't know how big this guy is yet. He's like six foot six, huge dude. He's like, give me the fucking camera. Give me the fucking camera right now. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I'm not giving you my camera. What the fuck? Just screaming back at him because I'm in so much shock. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally at my like girlfriend's mom's house, which is in a nice neighborhood. This mm -hmm. should not be happening. Sure. Like, this is crazy. So I'm like out of body experience, kind of like watching it from like above. It was really weird. And he, he's like, give me the fucking camera right now. And he goes and grabs his belt and he pulls out the gun. Oh. <laughs> like, give me the damn camera. Give me the fucking camera. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Screaming, walking back. I, I, I should have given it to him at that yeah. point. I just couldn't give it to him. Wow. I was you didn't give it to him with the gun to your face. No, it was to my chest. Oh. Like, he's about me to you away. And I, I know I meant to give it to him, but I'm like too far that I'm so scared. And I'm like... Bro, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I'm just screaming. He starts walking to me, walking to me with the gun, and I start backing up. As I back up, and he's coming towards me at the same pace, I'm in this person's driveway, and uh, he gets all the way to my car, and he starts fucking growing through my car, grabbing these fucking Brandon Westgate samples, and grab whatever he can, <laughs> you know? What? And he grabs it all, fucking runs back to his car, and just, like, drives off. Jeez. And I'm like, oh, my God, I go to get my phone and, like, try to record to mm. get his number plate. And it all happens so quick. And like, in hindsight, I should have just given him the camera because I'm not trying to not give it to him. But my body is in so much shock that mm. I just like, ah, like mm. I was just screaming. And it's just me and him. So it's like crazy. So I get in the car, like drive back to my girlfriend's <laughs> house, like 20 seconds away. Dude. And I walk inside and I'm just like pale as a ghost, you know? And they're like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, 
I just got like held up at gunpoint and like this guy like put the gun at me and he went and I'm like <laughs> fuck they're like what what they're like tripping out right and they're like we've got to go back there right now and like try and find if there's any houses with like uh, ring cameras to get like the video evidence and stuff and I was like oh uh, yeah like I just felt so crazy I was like yeah let's go and do that like and we went there and tried to find the video footage couldn't find it there were no cameras and um Damn. literally went back to her place and like I sat down and like that's when I realized I was like America like this is like really gnarly like in New Zealand there aren't guns like that and like I'm not saying ever in America has it like that but what the fuck just happened like I'm not used to this sure. yeah. so it really scared me and uh I didn't go skating that day because I felt like I was oh that's yeah, horrible that, yeah you know and then dramatic, I just sure. yeah I uh, me and my girlfriend just went to this Mexican restaurant and just like got wasted and celebrated okay. life. Wow. You know? yeah, just true. like, I love you. And like, just like, yeah, you know. So did you call the cops or anything? Like, uh, No, we tried to just like, there, there was no evidence. There was right. nothing, you know, it happened so quick. I didn't get like the footage of the guy's car really. Mm. Um, uh, just, uh, yeah, there were no cameras or anything. And, huh. How long uh, ago was this? Yeah. This was last year. Oh, I actually called Tyrone as soon as it happened because I was like I didn't know what to do and I kind of told him I was like hey bro I was shooting the samples and I like I nearly like broke down crying because I was like just so shocked yeah because the 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 and then to the chest was like I wasn't hit like I was above here watching wow yeah, yeah. I wasn't in my body that's what was the, the scariest part that is insane yeah. I don't think I've ever had some type of traumatic out of body experience like yeah. i don't think i don't i don't think i have i'm glad you haven't because yeah. you don't want that because you, know? you people always say like oh I'm, I, I'm out of my body i'm watching but you you can't picture it you until picture you're, it. you're actually in it yeah you know? and it's it's when you least expect it i did not expect it there you know if i was somewhere sketchy okay be on point you know right. but this was like off guard mm. you know Wow. I don't know if have well, you had that, Kelly. No, Geron, that that? Like the, not hands on like that. Nah, but you know it's happening a lot right now, man. People are you know they're bugging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're bugging the fuck out. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that only thing that was happened, like was just a couple shoes were taken, right? Which right. you're bro. like, you're like, thank God. Like you said, you party. I would have done the same thing. I would have gone hammered immediately, bro, and celebrated life. I took out my <laughs> camera gear. Just for some reason, I was like, oh, I don't need my flashes and stuff because I'm going to go skating when mm. I get back. Right. Like when I get back to the house, I put all my gear in, we'll go. And like, yeah. Because that's the so first thing he probably would have just taken that whole bag. Oh, he, for sure. But and and I'm left just... it open like that? You know what I mean? Like if you, you know, because you were already thinking like, I'm going to leave it here. Like if, if you had all your camera equipment and your trunk was open, but you know what I mean? Would yeah, you have had it open at that if, time? If, uh, if I could show you the street, you'd be like, oh, you could leave your house open. Yeah. Right? You know? Right. Like, mm. although you wouldn't. Of course. But no. you know what I mean? Yeah, like no. it would, so, there's no one there. It's like, right. You know? But your so. trunk's open. Your camera bag would have been in there. Yeah. C- probably closed. But, yeah. you know, that guy sees the big camera bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just, definitely. He just grabbed the samples right, and just tried to grab whatever he could and just <clears throat> fucking bolted. Dude. And like, nobody was around to see no it. No one or? was around. That's crazy. And you that's were just saying people were running and walking babies. That's and like shit. that's like the environment of the neighborhood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. Like, this was early morning. This is like. 10 in the morning okay yeah okay. that's still like yeah it's like the fuckers are just not wide in the open yeah. like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right neighborhood now, brazen yeah and Straight then up. just celebrated life yeah wow. no for sure dude. because that was like yeah so yeah. you never got photos of the other shoes uh no i think i got some more sent out to me and <laughs> okay. i reshot those okay. because we got to get the job done that's right you know that's the right. job has to get done okay. you know Damn. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you, man. Yeah. That's, some, that's some shit, dude. How long Damn, ago was that? Was that it was one year ago. Damn. Yeah. And that was like definitely a, a moment where I was like, man, I need to like be more careful maybe or just, I don't know. Maybe I just like was, was a, I don't know. The what wrong this... place at the wrong time at the end of the day, yeah. obviously, you know, it, someone tried to catch you slipping. Yeah. But they're doing that now. I mean, and they're, they're making, looking it, they're making it. an effort to, to really get people right now, whether you're on the street or in your house, whatever. I mean, yeah, Jerron had. I just got fucking robbed two months ago. Yeah, he jumped in the house and fucking got me, and you know, not that I was not there. I don't think not that that that's that's not happening. Invasions are happening, but you know, I, I, everybody's got to be very careful right now. For some mm. odd reason, people are really you know going yeah. above and beyond to to Fuck. to get people. Yeah, 
you know. I mean, I'm sorry to fucking hear that happened to you as well. It's just like yeah, yeah. but not not as yeah. traumatic. Look, yeah. it, it was traumatic for me because yeah. they broke into my house. Mm -hmm. But like, this is a totally different way of, of yeah, you know, getting traumatized. Yeah, <laughs> having a gun put in your face yeah. like that is no joke. Cocked you know? back as well. No, yeah. the cocking back. back was when it was like, oh my god, like yeah. this is so real, and I'm not, I'm not on, like I'm not standing here in my body. I'm up here. Mm. That's insane. That was, and then that's why I was like just screaming, because I didn't know what to do. I'm fuck, you yeah. know, probably scaring this guy like he's fucking crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah, he probably thought I was nuts because I was screaming back at him. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, dude. Bro, I was like fighting for my damn life. You I know? mean, if this dude's well seasoned at that, he might have been like, "Damn, this dude's bugging." Like, yeah, 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 yeah. he's yeah. gonna pull some shit on me. Yeah, oh my usually God. they put their hands up and they're quiet. You know, like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, whatever. Give him the camera. Yeah. I, and and if I could go back in time, I would have just given it to him. Right. Yeah. Right. Just be, yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. Thank God for that. Damn. That's so crazy, like, because as skaters, we go out and skate the craziest places, dude. Yeah, I can't, I, I'm going to take that back. I did have one, a, a oh. moment of that. So we were skating the DMV in the valley. And this is, uh, fuck, when I was probably like 16, 17. No, to, older, 20, 21. And this random girl came up to us and was like, because we were filming, fucking around, whatever. And she was like, hey, we ran out of gas. So I'm like, do you guys, you have any, like, change or any money? Like, whatever. And my friend, you know, he was a filmer at the time, but he... He had a big wad of cash, and he's like, oh, yeah. He gave her a couple bucks, and she went back to her car, and there was two dudes chilling with her. Fucking rolled up, pulled up on us, and dude popped the trunk, and he was like, give me your camera. And as soon as he popped the trunk, I saw that there was a shotgun in the back, and we were just like, later, just started dude. running away, and he tried to chase us in the car, in the parking lot, and tried to like run us down type shit. Oh, dude. my God. And bro, we had to run. Like, we got out of there, obviously, as soon as possible. But we tried to go up to a fucking security guard, like, you know, the patrol guys. Oh, yeah. Dude, we just got jacked. He's like, uh, I don't work here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. He, would, he didn't give a fuck. It was, like, pretty random. But, yeah, well, that's that, that was my little... I forgot that I, that I went through that. Yeah. But he, bro. Popped, he popped the trunk like he had a little fucking shotgun in the he trunk, was, bro. Oh You God, saw the bro. shotgun. Yeah. I was like, uh, later. Yeah, that's... I mean, he didn't do the no, but that. seeing the shotgun yeah, is like it was enough. Oh my! I don't God. like I don't yeah. like guns. No, man. no, no. Get him yeah. Yeah. fucking yeah. out of here. Yeah. That's what's crazy though. We go to the craziest spot skating, and then like you're doing the one like oh cool, I'm in the safest place doing the safest thing, mm. and I'm shooting shoes on the ground. Oh, I'm doing like nothing. The, nothing yeah. basically, and then that's when it happens. Yeah, like I, we go to some weird ass places when mm -hmm. we're skating, dude. No, I trip out on that shit. Totally. But, okay. yeah. Well, I'm glad you're all right, dude. Yeah. 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 Got the sh got the pictures taken. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you get the crosswalk? Did you get the crosswalk shot? Did you get it? Uh, we got it. You got it. You no, went no, back we got to it. the same spot. No, we got the photos, and then we're walking back to the car. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I was still shooting the shoes, it might have been worse because I would have been caught off guard. Yeah. I mean, I'm off guard regardless. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they use the photo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They used it. Okay. They used all of them. Beautiful. No, I Beautiful. <laughs> I can't remember, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Yellow with the yellow. Yeah, That's how I remember man. it. Do you like doing product photography? I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I just love shoes. So when I go out and shoot those ones, like I try to really like make them look cool. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, uh, all the dudes at New Balance put in so much effort to make the shoes look nice. That's so we've got to at least do our part, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you like having it? Do you like, do you usually do the shoes just by themselves or do you have the, hey, like, Come wear this shoe for me. I'm going to shoot it. Uh, we do a bit of both. Do both. Okay. So um, recently I've been going, since that happened, I've been going out with Chad and we've been doing it in um, Long Beach at this like uh, university. Uh -huh. So it's way more safer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Way more safe. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, he helps me out. So Chad will come around, help hold the flash and do what my girlfriend was doing, like tick off which shoes we've done. Yeah. And he'll stand in the shoes with uh, nice pants and do all that stuff, you For know? For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's a fun okay. process. I do that same stuff too. I just like... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a fun day of just randomly driving around and, yeah. oh, let's hit that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you don't, you're not looking at like a skate spot. You're looking at like just what's going on. For sure. Yeah, yeah it must be fun for you because you like doing it. Yeah, so. no, I, I enjoy it. And like shooting it, I mean. Yeah. Photography, I mean. And um, when I go to it with Chad, it probably takes like four days. So uh, like the last one we did took about four days and we get to just talk and hang out and uh, just like 
you know, go get food after and just and it's productive. just chop it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and we're working, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah. doing that with Chad, it's like he's a legend, so he's telling me all these stories. I'm like, oh my god, this is so sick. Chad you know? Tim Tim. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. yeah. The man. So sick, dude. That's you guys, guys got you guys got a good crew over Definitely, there. Bro. Love yeah. that crew. Yeah, yeah. Sick fucking New Balance, dude. Yeah, got his own shoe behind him. Dude, Look at that. I mean, would you rock a pair? I'd love it a pair. Yeah, yeah. What size are those? I'll take those home right now. What size are you? Ten and a half. These are ten and a half. Hey, yeah. <laughs> look at that! Yeah. Huh? He ain't got Perfect. a ten. You got a ten. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's awesome. No, I little, think they're actually tens. We need a little. Perfect. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. we need a little boxing over here. You oh, know we got you. We got you. Ty, yeah, Ty. We you know what? Box. <laughs> you know what's funny about New Balance team is like how interesting they skate. Like, because you got like the Jamie Foy, yeah, and then you got Tiago, but then you have the Jordan Taylor and those dudes who skate like the weirdest, yeah. Now it's fun for you to shoot photog- or photos of them at the weird ass mm-hmm. spots, yeah, right? Jordan Taylor and Tom Karangelov yeah. are like the funnest people to shoot photos of. I can imagine because um, they're not going to just a regular spot; yeah. they're going to no. some weird ass shit that you can get creative on. Yeah, yes. they put so much thought into the process and mm-hmm. what they're doing, and like you know, Tom does all the movies, and he's like, "This is this," and he gives you a backstory, and you're like, "Damn, I'm like I'm invested in this now before we've even done anything." Yeah, the guy looks for skate spots in movies. Yeah. That's yeah, it's it's and uh, he color coordinates, and <laughs> it's just really cool. And with those guys, they really want to get the one. So doing the trick 40, 50 times isn't a problem, right? You know, right. So uh, it gives me options, and they want to shoot things differently and mm-hmm. like cool and experiment. So um, those are the funnest people, not like them, but like in general to skate with when they have that same, um, you know, right. When they care about the process as much as you. When do. they care about the process, and that's the good thing with New Balance is and like uh, a lot of people that I've shot with over the years, they want to get the best thing, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're, you're trying a trick and you have a vision, right? Yeah. So you have a vision. Yes. <laughs> um, you want to like, you want it to be shot the way you see it. Yeah. So switch flip manual, you're yeah. like, I want it filmed from here, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I find that weird because like sometimes I don't want to intervene yeah. in some... I think it mostly happens with filming, right? Uh-huh. You're like, hey, uh, I kind of picture this like fisheye mm-hmm. instead of like long lens, mm-hmm. you know? But then you're like, am I getting too like particular? Should I just mm-hmm. let them kind of do what they think? Or should I say, hey, this could look good fisheye? You know, I, I, I would get in these weird kind of like, uh, should it's, I say something or I not? Think it depends. I think, go ahead. It, it depends if you, if you trust and know that person so yeah. well. Because like totally. I would go out skating when I would shoot photos and I had a homie Matt Daughters. I would skate with him all the time and I knew he knew what to do. Mm. I didn't have like you go skate with a Tiba, you're not gonna be like, hey Tiba, you get over there, shoot he it like knows what to do. Yeah. You go with these guys, and I feel like you have people have that confidence in you. For sure. You but even skate. then, it's like Ty, of course, like Ty Evans, right? It's yeah. like, yeah, of course. But like, you know, he'd be busting out the crane and all this stuff when he was doing crane stuff and dolly shots, and like sometimes I'd be like, Oh man, like I just wish it was fisheye, Mm -hmm. you know? But I'm not going to tell Ty to get the crank because he has a vision of how this trick should be filmed too. For sure. So I think it would be weird not to cut you off. I think it would be weird if you just did it out of nowhere and you started doing that. Like, so say, for instance, you've been in the game, you've been fucking shooting photos and filming, and and now, all of a sudden, you're saying, hey, dude, like, and you started doing that more, I think that would be weird. But be a little then, again, then again, you could be evolving in yourself and how you represent and how you want to be looked at. You know what I mean? I, don't I mean, know. it's just kind of a, oh, God, I got to go shoot with Roberts again. You're tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Straight up. Um, but but it is. But I, I mean, input is good if you guys are working yeah. together. Hey, totally. what about up there? You yeah, know, yeah. Whatever. Um, I love when a skater has a vision right. and they're like, I want it like this. And I'll be like, can we do it like this? And you kind of meet in the middle ground, you know? Right. right. Um, same as if I'm filming a trick and like I'm with Vito or I'm with like, you know, someone filming mm-hmm. and I'm like, K- would you mind if we film it from here? And he's like, that's all good. We can do that because that's how you see it. That's why like it's easy to get clips, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. I think when uh, there's a disconnect of that, it becomes like weird. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know? Right. For sure. Yeah. For sure. What about like on Uto's cover, the Nolly 270? Yeah. Was that no slide or test which tail? Nolly two seventy. I, I always stick, trip on like Nolly two seventy because he's no technically slide. on the nose. It's a nose slide. Yeah, I guess it is Nolly yeah. two seventy nose slide. Like when that cover, 
Does he even does Yuto even care at that point? He just wants to trick. Are you just I'm gonna shoot a photo with uh, Yuto's trick? I don't think I was like around, and they went and did that, and I saw the footage, and I was like, "Holy shit! Like this is the craziest still photo. Like you could get something like really special out of this mm. because it's like kind of gave me the Jerry Sue vibe that Ben Colin shot. You know, yeah. like just that movement. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Maximum, you switch front nose well, grind. Body yeah, yeah. torqued. Body, yeah. Board, yeah. Like a sushu doing like sushi grind yeah like i felt like there was a way to show this which was kind of crazy but like you kind of knew what was going on right and uh, i asked him i was like hey would you be down to go and shoot it again like i understand if you don't want to and he's like i'm keen and i was like oh my god like really he's like yeah easy like Dude. for him he is so special like he is yeah. out of this world <laughs> and uh we went there and i was shooting it from a few different angles on fisheye and uh it was kind of working. I was shooting it when he was touching no slide. Mm. And I was kind of like, mm, it's like, all right, you know, it's not the one. And then I moved down two stairs and I like, I can't remember if I just shot it a little early on accident or what happened, but I saw it looked like this. And I was like, holy shit. Like, we're going to get something like really fucking cool right now. So like, do a couple more. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I don't want you to get hurt because you've got like the Olympics Please. coming up. If this is cool with you, like, would you be down? He's like, yeah, cool. Good. Just keeps trying it, locking in, locking in, get a photo, all good. Is he like landing it almost every try? He, or is I he... think he landed it, yeah. Or like maybe he stomped it. Vito was with me. Yeah. I think he stomped it. He's in. And yeah, he's uh, he, it was never, level. it was like, I don't know what the process was like as much when he did it the first time, uh -huh. but going back, he, you know, like. Just went right into it. Oh, yeah. Like he's going to do that till he's going to. He's got a lot of other tricks that are coming. Well, it's interesting because like, the, <laughs> you know, a guy like wow. Yuto, you're watching him in a street league event or something. And all of a sudden, like, I mean, he's doing these tricks first try. Yeah. Yeah. Down bigger things. Bigger yeah, shit. Yeah. Bigger like stuff, at the yeah. Olympics. Yeah. yeah. He did that. that cool. And that thing looked massive. The last street league what was did a he 12 do? stair. He, 12 stair. Yeah. Did like, he, bro. Did he do like, what, what did he do? He just did yeah, something crazy. Did that last oh, league was uh, down the hubba. Oh, Nolly Biggs from Bechtel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, first what try. The, I, I didn't see him. Oh, I think he might have flung one out, and I was like, "Is what is? I don't even know. You couldn't even tell what he was gonna try. Yeah, and then he just did it. You're yeah. like, what, how <laughs> of a pro? I don't yeah, know. Like, <laughs> when he needs to do it, he, he will do it. it. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna ask. It, you know, skating with a guy like Yuto out in the streets. I mean, is it the same type of pro? Is he landing shit mm. like a, like? Sometimes it can be like hard for him. He's like struggling. You okay. Know? Um trying to think of like a trick. Dude, what about the the Nolly cab back switch back lip with the freaking Oh, mask that on? was that was scary. <laughs> down, oh, yeah. down Hollywood. That was yeah. fucking so That was that was uh, insane. Shay had told him like, "Hey, you should wear the shiesty mask like um and do it in that." And he was like, "Oh, like I don't know if I want to do that, you know." And uh we get to the spot and he brings it with him anyway just in case. Um we wake up super early and um yeah, he uh Nolly lip slides it. Nolly fifties it. First try. First try. Oh, I think he's kind of like maybe bailing Nolly lip slide okay. just to get the feel, feel for it. Mm. And then tries Nolly 50, lands that. And then we're all at the bottom of the stairs. And he had, uh, we had gone two days uh, prior for him to try it. And he couldn't bring himself to doing it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. So he couldn't try it two days earlier. We went there in the afternoon and he just like, he was rolling up and the ground was soggy because they changed it. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And uh, it was just, it felt airy. It was just like, man, like I've never seen him scared before and he really doesn't seem comfortable. Okay. Let's go in the morning in two days time from now and like get there super early so the ground's hard yeah. and like let's handle it, you know? So... That's why, like, when he did it, the lighting is, like, coming from the different side, which doesn't normally get seen yeah. like that because you're, why are you going to Hollywood at 7 in the morning? Yeah. You know? And uh, he starts trying, yeah, uh, Nolly 270 lip slide, and he slides it, slides it, and then I think he, like, maybe stomps one, and I think it's maybe, what, like, seven tries he did it in? <sighs> Um, Dude, he's, I mean, about the numbers, third day, <laughs> third time going there, and then you did it on your seventh try. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. yeah. Let's like, go. And sorry, so on the seventh try, he like stomps one and he's like, ah, like going all crazy. And then he runs back up and he just puts the mask on. <laughs> and he does it so, again. So he, no, 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 he hadn't landed it yet. Oh, okay. So, okay. so on the seventh try, he stomps it without anything. Okay. And then he's like, let's go. Like, let's go right now. Put the mask on. Rolls up, just 
so gangster. Like, goes to do it, everything, stomps it, doesn't land it. Okay. And then he, like, runs back up and we're freaking out. Like, oh, my God, he's doing this with a mask on, you know? <laughs> it was crazy. Goes again, kind of has a hairball attempt. Like, pretty scary. Like, oh, my God, this was pretty sketchy. Like, fuck, here we go. Goes back up and just lands it. Wow. Yeah. When okay. he landed it, everyone was just like, it was just that feeling, like, that celebration feeling. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah. You know, that was to end his video part that uh, mm-hmm. Vito filmed. And yeah. Man, it's, it's, I love a, watching Udo skate. Yeah. It, it's yeah. Truly insane. A special, talented. It was like, man. it is wild to see how calm he is. Like when he skates, he lo- he does the hardest tricks, but he doesn't really look like he's trying yeah. at all. So, I, and he's a contest dude and a street. Yeah. He's yeah. in the streets, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. That dude does some wild ass shit. He's representing yeah. both very, very well. Yeah. Sorry, Vito is uh, Kev Perez. Why do you call him Vito? Uh, Swerve, Swervito, Vito. So we just chopped the beginning part because uh, his homies call him Swerve. <laughs> and I just added, I just added Swervito and then we just cut the Swerve to just Vito. <laughs> it's like uh, Daniel Scales, you know, Skelly Wags. Uh-huh. Take out Skelly, he's just Wags. Okay. <laughs> you know? The, the, yeah, the, the nicknames. Yeah, are, yeah it goes you just down chop line. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I keep saying Vito and I'm like, I feel like people in the show are going to be like, who? Yeah, who's Kev Vito? filmed that? Right, right, right. So shout out Kev. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Kev. Yeah, he's sitting right here for the people yeah. listening or watching. He's yeah, right here. Uh, Kev filmed that whole part and like just the the way that it ended with him doing that trick was mm-hmm. like just the icing on the cake. You know, he went off that year. That's and, so uh, he goes nice, off man. all the time. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's still going. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's yeah. Two incredible video parts, and he won the Olympics. Yeah, and he was just won the last three street leagues or two street leagues. Uh, I'm pretty sure last two. Okay. Yeah. He also won the uh, Rome. Uh, oh yeah. World Championships. Yeah. <laughs> that in that time, yeah. He's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, he yeah, is. You yeah. know. He is. Nigel wishes he was him. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, I'm sure Nigel's just <laughs> fine. You know. He is great. Uh, I'm dude. just kidding. Um. Yeah, he's a millionaire. If you know, you know. Too. Quit <laughs> healing, Nigel. Quit he's healing, fine. bro. Yeah. 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 No, for real. He's got his surgery, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there somebody that you, like like a Uto, that you prefer, not to prefer, but like to shoot with? You know, like, you're going to get creative. Like, you, like, like Uto going, doing that rail, you know? It's like you found that perfect moment to shoot that shot. Yeah. I mean, you just spoke on, like, you know, Jordan Taylor. Uh, yeah. Tom, Tom Karangalov. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, is there... There is. Do you have a favorite? You have a favorite. There is. Okay. One of my favorites. Okay. Because we can't just let's, have one. Let's preface. I have a lot of favorites. Let's preface But um, I feel like every photographer kind of has, like, their one person. Mm-hmm. When I first came to America, um, I met Mason Silver. And Mason is... You guys know how crazy he's, he is. He yeah. is so good at skateboarding. Yes, he is. And I met him when he was on... Uh, he was still on Etnies. Mm. And, uh, yeah, when I came over my first trip... He was uh, one of the first people I went out on a session with because I was working at Element and I was staying at Cole Matthews' house. Um, And him and Ryan Lee, I would just go out with them every day and Mason would literally get the craziest tricks every day. Mm -hmm. Like fakie healing over rails and like just doing the sickest stuff. And I knew straight away, I was like, man, this guy is like, he has to blow up at some point. How is he not blown up? You know? Sure. Like, I don't know why. It was right before. It was just before it happened. And then I think the story was that uh, Costin saw him at the barracks and like started giving him Nikes Mm. or something like that. But um, isn't it crazy how that happens? It's just that was the moment. Yeah. Yeah. That one moment changes. And and, uh, and that that summer, I think it was 2013, uh, it was 2014, skating with Mason and Ryan. We got so many photos and he was like, I don't know, just that combo, that duo right there, they're like special, mm-hmm. you know? You see what they do and it's like, you guys have it, you know? Right. You guys right. know what you're doing. And it's just, it's like, you can't uh, force that upon anyone. They're best friends and you can see it in the footage. Totally. Yeah. So, Is Ryan the one that films Louis as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that combination too yeah. Oh, yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, Ryan and Louis, Ryan and Mason, yeah. like those dudes just kill it and mason skates some interesting spots as well definitely he you know? skates very interesting spots like wally spots mm-hmm. he's really good at transition anything yeah. he can skate yeah. anything rails gaps all yeah. that but uh he definitely has like a vision and uh like that's why when i climbed the billboard he was down for me to do that some people might not want to wait 
they're like, oh. come on, like, let's get it going. Like, we're going to get kicked out. I don't want you to do that. But oh, yeah. Mason's like, let's do that. Like, that's sick, you know? That's dope. Although that's what I think he said. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's in the run-up like, oh my God, this guy from New Zealand's like crazy. At least he didn't disappear and get a uh, Boca deal in a damn mall. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. Exactly. What about um, fisheye versus long lens? Um, what do you prefer? I know it probably has to do with the spot. Every spot's different. Has to do with the spot. I think long lens will always be the one. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I think long lens. Why? Is there, you could just get more creative with a long lens? I mean, in saying that, it's weird because these covers all of these behind are all you fish are fish eye, eye, yeah. But I think something about like a long lens, like playback style photo to me is very like, that's kind of like iconic. Right. You know? Um, Brian Gaberman shoots like the best long lens photos uh, and fisheye. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, it just depends on the spot, really. Mm. But I think I prefer long lens because uh i don't know hmm. yeah good hmm. question you really stumped me what about there, yeah. what do you prefer i Tell you Jeff. know what i in video i like i like fisheye yeah because like i want in your face skateboarding i want that thing to be flying right next to me you okay. know yeah uh long lens in in video it depends because sometimes the picture can be, you know, we're working with 16 by nine now. So, yeah. you know, maybe the skater's like over here and then mm -hmm. the, the, the filmer wants to capture this rose bush over here. And mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, it's too, you're too, the skater's too small. Mm. And this is just personal opinion. For mm -hmm. sure. You know, so I prefer fisheye. Yeah. Of, again, depends on the spot. Maybe sometimes it'll look good long lens, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a certain manual trick or certain rail tricks, mm -hmm. you know, like Hollywood high, I think looks good long lens. For sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. If, if we're talking filming, I think long yeah. lens for sure for me. Really? Yeah. The opposite. Yeah. You want, I want fisheye, you want long lens. Yeah. <laughs> I just went against the grain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to keep it, you know? Okay. Okay. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of long lens is like, I mean, when you look at social media, that's all it is. Yeah. For the most part, if you're with iPhone stuff, it's yeah. all long you, lens, yeah. right? And like, you're in there, you know? Yeah, like, you're still in there. Yeah, yeah I, that's true. Like if I see, if I'm on Instagram and I see someone put a freaking fish eye uh, on the iPhone, I'm like, I don't want to see we that. Don't yeah, 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 we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Extra. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> but I think that... Um, when it comes to photography, I don't think I have an opinion on that. Yeah. I think I like both. I think, I, think just, I like long lens and I like I like composition. I like the look of, of how a photo looks and makes you feel. Yeah. Rather than like, oh, look at that rose bush over there. You mm -hmm. know, it's like I sometimes <laughs> I feel like filmers just try to do too much maybe. Mm -hmm. and it's I just like to see the clip. story though of the photo, you know what I mean? To see what's going mm -hmm. on in the background mm -hmm. and kind of like, you know. Like the, yeah. the Domo 5050. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like this even with this, insane. yeah, yeah that this fucking psycho. This was crazy, but uh, the story with this was like you can't shoot that fisheye. I mean, you can do anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we can do anything. Yeah. Okay, but I'll I'm not saying that. it's going to be good. Okay, and you okay. won't see the kinks. Or, yeah. like, you know, but um, I think you chose wisely. On this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we went here like uh, three or four days before, and Nick Garcia did board slide. Okay. Um, Damn. Which was insane. That's it was wild. so gnarly. And I shot it from the ground. And um, I was like, damn, because we'd never seen the spot before. And when you go to a, a spot like this for the first time, and I think no photos had come out, it's like you have unlimited angles, right? Mm -hmm. So how are you going to do it justice? So I'm like, fuck, like he's already board signed. Like I just have to shoot it from here, I guess. And like I was pretty happy with the photo of the board slide, but I knew that there was another way to like document this. So when I went home, I kind of like always run through like the session and what I could have done different just to try and be better. Totally. Because that's, you know, you're always trying to get better at what you're doing. So I, we went back here for Domo to do 50, 50. And this is another Boca Deo story. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he's jumping on 50, 50. And, uh, I see this, um, apartment, the one that I'm in right now. But the the gate goes all the way to the top of the brick wall. So you have to come in and out with a key fob, ah. right? So he's 50-50ing and I'm standing at this gate like <laughs> waiting for someone to come in or out because like I have to get up this like this apartment. So I'm waiting there. He's getting into 50-50, like just starting to like touch around the corner. And I'm literally just 
I'm either going to get up there and get a photo or I'm just going to miss this whole thing. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and uh, someone comes out. I open the door, run up the stairs, probably like 10 flights. Like, I'm sprinting. Oh, wow. Yeah, I get up there. I'm like exhausted. <laughs> and I look down and uh, it's just this. Like, I <laughs> wish that I had a... Uh, a filmer up there with me to just get this other angle mm. behind you yeah but, it, but you. it happens not just follow me but like to film the trick like it oh, happened that angle, yes. it happened so fast right. that um i was up there and i didn't want to scream because i don't want to like get the neighbors to kick me out because i'm not from there you know they're gonna be like what the hell are you doing up here yeah. yeah and uh yeah i just remember shooting this and like who could have you have texted I couldn't text anyone. <laughs> I, to, I would have had to just, I didn't even know. Like, well, because well, that, that's in like Spain or something. This right? is in Spain, oh, Barcelona. Again, fuck, I this is in Barcelona. I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah. So this is in Barcelona. And uh, I remember when I shot this, I was like, there's a few times when you shoot photos that you're like really, really stoked. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, like I'm super happy with like how this looks. Well, it's interesting because even the corner of the building like matches up with the corner of the rail right there, right before he's about to hit that kink. This you know what I mean? Yeah, look at that. How the corner of the building. Oh, look right there. Look, look, bring it over here. Bring I was about to be like, yeah, 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 for sure. No, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Bring it over here. Like, show me, show me, everything's show me. lining up like the corner. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah, these yeah. corners are lining up. No, definitely. It, uh, I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. no, no. Um, you can put it away, but for sure. Okay. Um, no, no, you take it. Okay, no. thank you. Oh, you, you, you got me. No, I'm just super stoked on that one. Dude, it's um, amazing. And like, Domo's the sickest. He just brought out a crazy part. Like, Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. yeah. He's got such good energy. And, and shooting Walker. that photo with him, like, I was really, really hyped, you know? Because he's one of my good friends as well. And like... He's such a good dude, man. Yeah. yeah. He's so sick. And Happy belated birthday, bro. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yep. 30. It's amazing what you guys can accomplish by just looking around at your environment. You know? For sure, yeah. Love that. And also the uh, the Shane... <laughs> How many covers do we have? Yeah, <laughs> no, I wish have... I had all my skateboarders, journals, and slams here as well, but they're all in New Zealand. Ah. Yeah. Shout out um, Look Back Library hooked me up to okay. uh, get all these from the oh, that's um, dope. Skateboarding Hall of Fame from Todd. Sick. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then uh, the, like even shooting with Shane O'Neill, because you shoot a lot of the April stuff too. Yeah. So like Shane O'Neill, I mean, like you have like an all-star... Yeah. cast and crew Dude, no I, I i'm so blessed like shooting with shane as well is such a trip for me just because like because this is the spot um that was so gnarly bro heath kirchart yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 um we went there twice for this actually Spanish. Wait, what did she do it's nolly heel switch flip switch flip oh switch flip uh dane nolly healed it ah okay yeah, yeah. that is which, so which insane is, oh, bro gnarly. dane nolly healing that is yeah, psycho it's Oof. like uh, yeah I don't know how he wanted to try to do that. He's the only one who's done a nolly heel or nolly flip. Who's in? Davis. Davis. Davis Torgerson nollied it. Straight nolly. I thought that was crazy. When that came out, I was like, bro, what? I love a good straight nolly or a good fakey ollie. Yeah. I think it looks dope. Yeah. But with the Shane switch flip, we went there on one of the days and we went and brought a moped and we drove from... Pretty much this is what happened. We went to a shop to go buy a moped and Shane paid the money, whatever, and then uh, he got Spanish Mike to ride it from the dealership <laughs> to San Dimas Gap, which was, <laughs> it was like a couple of miles away. <laughs> And oh, wait, not too bad, not too bad. I thought he like no. in the valley. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. That fucking thing. <laughs> and and we're just filming him and he's like, ah oh, bro, like fuck out of this. You know, he's going Spanish Mike style. Yeah, and so we're just tripping. filming him like, bro, it's all good. Like, you're fine. We get to the spot and um he's trying to tow um Shane in and he's going so slow. And Shane's like, bro, go faster, like go faster. And he's going so slow, and now he's like <laughs> Shane's nearly landing on the curb. Oh wow! And so it's like really bad. Like it's actually like gonna hurt him. And um, <laughs> Spanish. So, and you know so Spanish. Spanish is, I don't know. You know. And uh, you know, no, uh, no shade in Spanish, but bro, <laughs> yeah. drive the bike faster. <laughs> Do what the man says. You know, you want to go faster. <sighs> Put the pedal to the middle. Did he, anyway. did he eventually do it? Did he go faster? No, he he <laughs> packed up shop. I think we just like we we were just like, bro, this is too sketchy. You know, you're not wow. you're not going fast enough. Do what the man's saying and ride the damn bike <laughs> off the. You hit the jump and let him hit the yeah, jump. You, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> the jump. The so jump. what ended up happening? 
uh, we went back and yo 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 handled business. There you go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we needed yo yo. How fast are you going? I mean, does, does you, do you remember the speedometer? I, I don't. Okay. But, uh, Brought it up to a cool 30. Yeah, he, he brought it. was so sick because that's the sickest thing with Shane is he like when he has a plan, he, he goes and does it. it. So he brought this uh, moped. We're going back and he's going to switch flip it. This time, yo-yo, you handle it. Zzz, boom. Yeah. Like switch flipped it. I don't what think it took of, too long. What kind of moped? You just, oh, we're going to buy a moped real quick. And yeah, just... like an e-scooter moped kind of thing. Okay. So I you could throw it in the car and then brought it there or did you have to yo-yo drive it out there? I think no. No, 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 no. no. I, I think we put it in a U-Haul. Uh, it was okay, something like okay, that, yeah. Okay. It's super heavy. Smart. Yeah. But um, Crazy. yeah, yo-yo drove him in and he switch flipped it and we were just like, you know, he just needed the speed. Yeah. He was going to do the switch flip. I could picture Spanish Mike like, yo, yo, you don't even know. Like, I got to like turn the turn the corner like yeah, before yeah, the yeah. bump and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, you guys yeah. do it. Like, I can't yeah. do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would have hurt my friend. He's towing in the car. Like, Dude. everything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, fully Spanish yeah. Mike. Like, <laughs> that's why we were like, bro, just get Yo-Yo on the bike and he's going to handle it. Yeah. That was yeah. Shane's first mistake is hitting up Spanish Mike to drive that thing. <laughs> I saw. We I didn't think it would be a problem. I went on a boat ride with, with Spanish once uh, and... He literally was the crazy. It was like he was riding a roller coaster, and terrified for his life at the same time. And like literally, like I, I, just, I, I was like, Dude, I, I, you've never been on a boat before, bro. Is that in Hawaii? When you got yeah, the yeah, yeah. I was, I, but it was hilarious. You got to admit though, this the, the way that Spanish breaks things down. Like even if he's complaining about something, like it's hilarious. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. like whatever it he's makes talking sense about to him. Yeah, yeah. But to everyone else, you're like, bro, what? Yeah, like, chill. Yeah. Like, what are you saying? Dude, like, when you're going to ride up, you, you like hit the brake and then t- make the turn off, you yeah. know, like it's easy. He's going to hit me up after this and be like, bro, you should have done it. Why didn't you do it? Like, yeah. Bro, I'm shooting a photo. Oh, he'll, like, yeah. he's going to call me out. He'll call you for sure. Call me out. Well, there's okay. so many things you can do. You know, yeah. Anyway. yeah. But um, no, that was crazy. It's a good and photo. S- switch fl- yeah, I was super stoked. Thank you. Um, him switch flipping this is nuts, you know? Yeah. How long did I take him to do, you think? Uh, I don't think it was too long. Yeah. Maybe like twenty minutes. Wow. Yeah, maybe twenty or thirty minutes. So Everything what? he does is yeah. So Spanish Mike made the whole process. Oh, way yeah, longer. he made it way longer. And this was deadline like for the magazine. Like we had to shoot it on Sunday, send it in on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Comes out as a cover like, uh, maybe like ten days later. So you knew it was gonna be a cover. No, I didn't know. Oh, you did it. I was in um France on a uh, element trip, and so when I found out, I was like. This is my first cover. So for this Thrasher? Was another, for Thrasher. For Thrasher. Thrasher. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. first Thrasher cover. Yeah. And that night we celebrated life. Yeah. You know, yeah. we went out, we got <laughs> Luca, yeah, did somebody should. call you from Thrasher and tell you uh, or what happened? No, we were Bring at a, we were at a spot and someone was like, Yo, Shane's on the cover of the new Thrasher. And I was like, Huh? Shane's on the cover? Like, what? I I, I might have shot it, you know? And yeah. then uh, they were like, yeah, it's a switch flip over like San Dimas Gap. And I was like, what the fuck? No That's way. So like, I, I shot that. Like, That's so know, sick, I, dude. I find it That's so, so funny sick. also. It's like, you know, when like nowadays it's like turning kids pro, they surprise them. Yeah. It's almost the same thing with covers. Like, yeah. you know, I'm surprised yeah. nobody from Thrasher, like Burnett or somebody hits you up like, hey, dude, so we got the cover, you yeah. know, like, good job. Like, yeah. thank you so much. That was a, dude, it's rad, rad cover. Especially yeah. for your first one. Right? Well, I mean, just any, like, did you know you were going to get the cover of Uto? Uh, no. What and did, I love th- that, though, because it's like it, it, everyone wins because you get like the the feeling of like yes. the celebration. Only, like, yeah. fr- only for your first one, not to continue. Only for like for your first Thrasher cover, they present something to like, like it's your board. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, here you go. Yeah, like, like he too. found out in France. Exactly. He celebrated life. Right. Like, for yeah, time. we celebrated. Right. Yeah. I'd rather get surprised, to be honest. You don't I, get covers. Covers get you. Well, yeah. Wow. Like, thanks, Roger. <laughs> but I mean, like if, if <laughs> they're, if, if you're like Dubs is kind of saying, like if you're in the game for a long time, yeah. you know, and like you get your first cover, cool surprise, second, third, fourth, fifth, like. You still like the surprise. Don't yeah. don't let him just okay. Mm-hmm. But Dubs is still bummed that he didn't get his pro party, dude. Yeah, dude, it, I didn't get no fucking celebration. Well, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have a surprise. We can do that. Yes, we're gonna, we're come gonna to the do surprise. that. We gotta do that. We're gonna come to the surprise party. <laughs> Things are different. Then. They that. were different. <laughs> we're gonna Dubs never got a su- su- surprise when he turned pro, so we're gonna throw him another surprise uh-huh. pro party. Twenty, 20 years later, now well, I know I, about the surprise. So. Uh, I'll get it. Yeah, but you don't know when. You don't know when. Will I get an invite? Yeah, of course. Invite. Yeah. Wow. We need somebody to take photos. Yeah? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got Justin. We got Justin. Yeah, Justin can do that. <laughs> could you imagine? That would be so, tight, dude. We should do that. 
<laughs> 20 years later like it'll be tight dude maybe we'll get the old 25 all, years later 25, 25 years later, years later. Yeah, my bad yeah, yeah can we get a reshoot already yeah um how many covers do we have uh do we know, do we know the count uh maybe maybe like 28 or 30 Ooh. Jeez! But, I you were say but, like six. But these, <laughs> but these are like from Australia Collective. and New Zealand. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I okay. think four American okay. mags. Yeah. Uh, Thrasher, Transworld, and and skateboard, skateboard mag. mag. Yeah. Two Thrasher, skateboard mag, and Transworld. Yeah. Transworld's Mason Silva cover. We got over there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and that was for his interview. That was for his interview, and that was in his Element piece part. Um, yes. And like I mentioned. Mason just he just does this stuff like he goes for it. This wasn't I think he landed this like in three tries or two tries wow. like and then we kept going. We went to another spot and we go to another spot and he gets four photos in the day and you're like, bro, what happened? That's like, amazing, bro. That is wait, wait, wait. nicest. Uh, did Ollie, Ollie over fifty fifty. Did he gap, gap out? out? Gap out. And so Ryan filmed at Fisheye at the bottom of the rail and it just looks so crazy but for photo i don't think i could have done that for it to be a cover yeah but i always like look at the footage i'm like damn it shows the gap out like so good like he filmed it amazing mm -hmm. but for photo you have to play the cards yeah that's crazy it's it's, it's so funny because he could have just gone from the side but instead like goes over the top he has so much pop that yeah. is, pop hold is that ridiculous. up a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that is so nuts. Be charging that fast. Yeah. Because you, you, you can't go slow. No, that, and you're right? all in. Yeah. That is completely out of control. It's insane. But isn't yeah. it wild though? I'm holding this and I'm like, it's so thin, dude. Oh, the magazine? The mag. And I'm just like, you know, yeah. growing up, it was just like, they were so thick. It was yeah. Thick yeah. As the thrashers are like triple that. Yeah. But he's an all in skater, you know? Mm -hmm. He's like one gear. Go, yeah. <laughs> you know. When totally. you get four things, five things in one day, I'm shit. If I'm getting oh. one or two things in one day, we're having a good night. We're celebrating life, straight yeah. up. You know? Dubs. If I almost get a land, I'm celebrating life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just opened That's this up, <laughs> and shout out to Chris Brunner. It's my, wow. my dog. He's riding my board. Wow. I was like, what Amazing. the fuck? Dude, that's cool. Shout, that out, to, shout is, out to the Brunners, dude. I love those. That kids. photo is Man, crazy. Man. Yeah. I know that. That, can you please go back? Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Let me see real quick. All right here. Bro. Front blunt over a fucking chipping containers. Man. That's gnarly, dude. Yeah. Are you scared at any point in time? You you know, um, you know the photographer um I'm always shot scared. the are no, you? no, I'm not. I mean, some of these people, like you go shoot with like Mason Silva, like For he's sure. a fucking professional skateboard, like he knows what he's doing, but like still, like I think they're doing gnarly shit. No, and I think that's the difference when I'm not skateboarding mm -hmm. and I'm just shooting photos. It's not that you get jaded, but you're kind of like, yo, you can do this. Like, come on, land it. But then when you start to skate and you, you know, you go through the process, you're like, bro, what they're doing is crazy. Yeah. Like these guys are so talented. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love skateboarding so that I can relate on a level that's like, I understand you guys, if you don't feel like doing this, bro, don't do it. Totally. Yeah. But if you really want to do it, like, let's go. Like, you got this. Well, you hear so many of the horror stories of the Dude. photographer yeah. saying, like, hey, can you do that again? Yeah, 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 Man. for sure. And then, one more boom, try. One, one more. more try. Yeah. And boom, they get hurt. Yeah. Like, it happens a lot. Has that sure. happened on your watch? Uh, I've definitely made people do things a lot of times, but I don't think anyone got hurt. Good. Good. But I definitely make people do things multiple times because I want to get the best photo. Yeah. Right. It's not for, like, I don't know, the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. If I just don't have the right photo, I'm like, it's not i'm not excited you know you're probably i'm pretty readable i'm like oh yeah congrats you yeah know, you yeah, got yeah. it but if i get it then it's like but you're yeah. not making them do it again obviously you're, no just they, just to lock in or to, whatever yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, definitely yeah. because you need more options that's what's hard with jamie foy like he's landing things like this yeah you know so if you're not getting the photo it's front 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 crook el toro first try yeah, it's yeah. insane. How do you even get prepared? How do you even get set up? How do you, do you, you don't even have yeah. the opportunity to fuck around and was find it your first try? First try. First try. Yeah, yeah. Even it him. It was for sure. Unbelievable. His story behind that is crazy. Like, he I don't told think, it on the yeah, show. It was insane. I was going to reset, but. Please, no. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I wasn't even there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm third party. No, I'm <laughs> we're third party too. It's <laughs> no. like, dude. But, like, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. I always loved crazy. it when I was shooting photos back in the day where, like, I would try something and I'd get into it and like home at the photographer like I'm good I got the photo <laughs> yeah. like you got the photo first try like I don't need to sit around yeah, and like yeah. you know yeah. be there I'm like oh that's actually way better for me yeah be yeah because oh actually I guess this doesn't really matter 
But at least I know I got something done on try that I didn't land it. I'll yeah. tell you this. If it's at night and they got flashes on, it's good for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that tough. shit sucks. Oh, they have multiple fucking things going on and flash. Yeah. yeah. Generator, lights, sure, flashes. Yeah. I, even if I have a photo, I normally like to stay there for morale and not yeah, ruin yeah. the like feng shui right. or like the way the, the flow of the session's going. But sometimes people do want you out of the way. Like, bro, you're mm. too close to me. Like, yeah. it's going to be easier when you're out. So cool. Yeah, even filmer stuff too. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, hey, fish eye, fish eye. Stay out of my you're, shot. You're in your sh yeah. You yeah, guys yeah, are, yeah. You guys are kind of in each other's oh, way. Hearing yeah. the banter between filmers and oh, so photographers. Yeah. Yeah. They were at the, that like, that shit is funny, dude. Yeah. I definitely uh, think that shit is funny. Lee Bolton was the one that, like, made me learn how to clone people out of fish eye photos because, like, <laughs> okay. we would be fighting for the best angle. I'm like, you know, a while ago, it was like photographer gets like priority. Sure. And now I'm with Lee and Lee's like the OG. And I'm like, oh, I've got to like stay back because I don't want to like, you know, he can he can have priority, but I still want to get in there. And he's like, bro, you got to move back. Who, Lee Dupa? No, <laughs> Lee Bolton. <laughs> Lee Bolton, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like he just taught me. He was like, bro, I skate with Andrew Peters all the time and he can clone me out. So how come you can't clone me out? And I'm like, oh my God, like I have to learn. So I had to learn how to clone them out because if I wanted the best photo I could get, I had to do that. So you kind of take like a slate shot. You exactly. Take you a, shoot one, you shoot there. another one, you shoot the ground and like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to piece it together. Yeah, you just piece it together. But okay. like... Photoshop's amazing these days. I mean, what you can do, you know. Yeah. yeah, but he was the one that made me learn that like there doesn't have to be this like fight. Both of you can get the best angle, you know. Yeah. yeah and sure. I want him to get the best footage. Of and course. he wants me to get the best photo because we're doing this together. Definitely. You just don't want each other in the fucking in each other's yeah. shots. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's cool. I, I like when I'm watching a video, like I kinda sometimes I like to see the surroundings. I like to see the photographer in the shot. I like yeah. to see the homies in the shot. I think yeah. there was gotten to a, a time where sometimes a skate like okay, everybody clear out. We yeah. don't want to I don't want anybody in the background, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. And like Back in the day, it was like, dude, the homies are in the shot. They're in the shot. Yeah. Like yeah. they'll ro they'll roll right past a bunch of dudes sitting on the fucking bench yeah. to get the shot. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's it's fine. Yeah, I kind of miss that. You know, yeah, I like yeah. the, I like to see that. Yeah, people chilling. For and sure. I like to see the session kind of. There was mm -hmm. that one clip of Paul switch flipping that thirteen uh, in the in bloom his last trick, mm. and then he go, like pans the Tiba and he's just like, wow. Yeah. And I always thought that stuff was cool. Like yeah. so it's, sick. It's so I sick. Love you that see, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like. I don't know. That was gnarly. And the yeah. other one, Ryan Gallant, backside big spin, the triple set in Sacramento. Yeah. And same thing happened. Panda, Jeff Landy. Mm -hmm. And it, it's rad to see how these, how the, I got to understand how skaters worked. Yeah. And just the like, session, yeah, yeah. you want to see everybody chilling and yeah. doing their thing. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, back then, yeah, the people were doing push ups in the background. I mean, yeah. Was, you know, that shit was like a trilogy and shit like that. That shit was tight. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Photos, maybe I could see it's a different beast. You know, maybe you don't want people chilling in the background. You want a clean shot. Yeah, it just really depends. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I would normally have everyone out, but right. uh, I think back in the day, you're shooting it on film. You don't have the choice. You know, like you probably got the people in there. They're in there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, like some people like sitting on the stairs in the background. Just yeah, it's like, like just and that's yeah. the photos you're probably referencing because that's what it was. That was the session. You yeah, know? yeah, totally. Like the. Yeah. Isn't the tray flip the um, playback shot of Kayla so people sitting down? Oh, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The people in the background? Yeah. And like, yeah, that's yeah. so that sick. Yeah. You yeah. know? That'd be but, imagine, uh, imagine if you were one of those dudes oh, in the background. Oh, that's yeah. like legendary yeah, right that's there. Legendary. <laughs> yeah, that's legendary. BGPs, baby. That's legendary. That's sick. Hell yeah. yeah. No, nah, man. I love it, dude. I love it. And like, dude, you're just killing it right now. You're man. on a tear. Thank you, bro. It's got. Uh, 106 covers and counting. <laughs> getting Insane. clips, getting color getting waves. Clips, yeah. Yeah. Covers. I love yeah. it, man. What is on the horizon, dude? Oh, man. Where are we going? Um, for dinner. Moon, no, for dinner. <laughs> We're celebrating life We're later, going to the moon. Right? No. Yeah. And we're already celebrating. Okay. I, I, I might enough. celebrate yeah. with you after. <laughs> fuck. <Yeah. laughs> no. Nah, um, Let's go. <laughs> but, you have, <laughs> uh, yeah. but you have anything? Like, I know the shoe just came out, but did you, any, anything uh, in the future? Maybe some trips you're going on or um, that you're excited about? Yeah, I leave to Brazil on Thursday. Amazing. Yep, with Hell Tiago. Yeah. And then we come back and then we're going to New York. And then we come back and then we go to Portugal with oh. Frankie. So we've got three trips planned. So wow. it's two weeks yeah, on, two off, two weeks on, two weeks off. So we have like, Damn. it'd be good to come back and skate in LA and then go back. But um, to be honest, I just want to get back to traveling and getting back into the groove of things because 
that was the coolest part, like, growing up. It was all just going on trips, and now we're starting to get to that. Like, it feels really nice, you know? I was going to say that's the biggest perk of skateboarding. For sure. Is the traveling. Mm -hmm. I would I would have never left the United States. I can almost bet on it yeah. if it wasn't for skating. Mm-hmm. And like just hearing you saying like, oh, I'm going to Brazil, then coming back, oh, then going to New York, and then coming and then going to Portugal. I'm like, damn, I miss that. Yeah, the, miss the, that shit. The fact that I'm sitting here and saying this, I I just like I'm so like blessed and lucky to be in this position. Like I know it's everyone doesn't have this opportunity, but like I'm just you know so grateful and like traveling and doing this stuff. It's what we want to do. This is like we want to travel the world and, and totally. go and see these spots and skate with like Tiago Lemos. Like mm. what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the craziest photos of him because he's so good. Like I don't know. It's it's very special. I'm I'm stoked. Yeah, yeah that's man. awesome. He's, he's also like that you're just gonna go specifically work with them. Yeah. So it's like not this oh. crazy crew and you got all this yeah. shit you gotta do. You're like, no no I'm yeah. gonna go handle this and, well, and he, like he has a new shoe that came out, right? Or it's coming. about to drop. Oh, it should be out right now. Yeah. yeah. By the time this episode drops, his second shoe, the 808. Yeah. yeah. That's what the trip is for. Right. Yeah. So that'll be those two trips. Um, and yeah, we just went to SF and Oslo, and yeah, like working with Tiago is like incredible. You know, yeah. he's, he's the nicest, the nicest, the most yeah. humblest. Okay. Like I love it too because he reminds me such a. And a, a lot of people say this, but a, a '90s skater. He, oh damn. Yeah. The way that he, you know. Uh, switch pushes yeah. and like every the baggies mm -hmm. he just embodies like what, imagine if he what came, we used to watch imagine if he was like came out like in the 90s like, like literally oh, imagine oh him God. skating now with back then yeah. it would have like it, it, the separation of like talent was would be psycho yeah and but so, I love yeah. him because he respects all the history he had he to does. learn from the OGs yeah, yeah, that's just does. what it is and, and he knows that that's the coolest thing that's for anyone though you but know? that's the Brazilian culture though they definitely like really catered and know about skateboarding and the history of it you know yeah. what I mean yeah. and they mm -hmm. pass it down to the little ones yeah. you know yeah. and that's why Tiago is rich in history with this shit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a pair I appreciate you bro thank you you know what I mean? Like, you thank you. That, yeah. yeah, his seating process and all that is so sick. When you see like all the OGs, he yeah. got Eric Papecki, yeah, Eric Pape Tony oh, Ferguson, shit. Yeah. bro. He he sent these shoes out. Hey, random. Damn, I didn't get a pair. Oh, you're They're not, on the way. You were on Menace, dude. <laughs> They're on the way. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the way. No, I don't know. I, I randomly, coming. dude. I was walking at, across the street right here next to a coffee shop. Eric Papecki pulls up, and I'm like. Holy shit! And I don't. I don't. Never have really met him. But he's like Kelly. What's up? I was like, holy shit. A couple of days later, I walked the same thing. He drives up the same spot again. Wow. Like random. I don't know. But Eric Pupecki. Was it at fucking, the same time? Same. Uh, and like literally the same time of day. I was like, what the fuck? We looked at each other. Like, That's weird. But I <laughs> forgot about. I had it's, to say but that. But you know what though? It is those funny things because like even it's like oh, remember when I saw Pupecki at the beach? He just rode his bike up, sat down, there, and we started rapping out. I'm like, dude, Eric Pupecki, dude, Pupecki, dude. dude. I'm like, no, dude. It's like We're you don't see him around like, anymore. Like, yeah. I feel like yeah. Joey Surreal should be here. And, yeah. and like, <laughs> For real. All so the menace sick. dudes. And, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. It is. It's weird fan out. Yeah, I know for sure. Shout Hit out to Tiago. No, seeing yeah. seeing anyone just randomly these days, it's like, what the hell? You know? Like oh, I yeah. could imagine mm -hmm. you just being like, bro, what are the odds of this? Well, if growing up here back in the day, like coming up to LA, I grew up like forty five minutes south or hour, and you would see if you saw people it was wild. Like, you know what I mean? So I couldn't even imagine I couldn't even imagine if you came out here from New Zealand to see Bro. people mm -hmm. like that. No, it would be insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's what you did. I mean, and yeah. you're, you're here. You're Still doing here. it. You're doing it. Yeah. Definitely you're, doing it. You're going to Brazil and Portugal. Yep. And all over the world. Yep. Congrats on the new uh, colorway and Everything you're doing, man, it's it's fun to watch you in so many different perspectives. Oh, you get get him. Yeah, get let's him celebrate right some here. life, dude. Let's get Justin celebrate in here. Some life. <laughs> let's get Justin in here. Cheers, JC. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. You guys are about to like wrap it up, and I'm like, wait, we're starting, right? <laughs> we just started. I'll start with you. Let's no, go. Good, <laughs> it's just begun. I, I've got my tea here. No, Roger, what'd you say? It's just begun. It has just begun. Uh -oh. <laughs> Still no, I'm stoked for you, dude. I'm stoked you, to, to um, finally meet you as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we'll shoot a photo one day, huh? Yeah. I'll try to pick a good what spot. What if we actually did it, though? 
That would be amazing. Yeah, because you know no, no, people I'm, I'm, say like, oh, let's skate. Uh, like, I don't like that. Well, usually yeah. I'm like, just let's, let's do it. No, no, I'm just trade show talking. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't waste my time anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's perfect. Stay, <laughs> get a photo of him in that seat right That's there. That's like a yeah. premiere, premiere talk. Yeah, what's no, like what the about... artsiest photo you can get in here with Chris not like just sitting there? Oh, like like a what? Like he, I don't know where you could climb. Bear skin here. rug. <laughs> I've, got, we'll I've got a ladder if you need one. Fireplace. You know, we'll do a whole thing. We'll figure you need it step out. Stool? I need no, time. We listen. Santa Monica Beach curbs. We'll go skate. Yeah, and then we'll try to find a photo that's never been taken. We'll get a plane. Whatever you yeah. need. A plane. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. Helicopter. You can, you can do anything. We can do that. You said it earlier. We can do anything. That's you right. really can, though. That's yeah. True. You just have to like put in the the effort. The effort. Have you yeah. ever uh, thought about like investing in a uh, cherry lift? Like a cherry cherry, oh no! But I've definitely climbed like other people's cherry lifts. You know. <laughs> Wow. Dude. Like, uh, I for sure like being like, hey, can I get up there? And they're like, oh, and I'm like, I'm getting up there. You know? <laughs> you don't take no for an answer. No. Well, you, if you're not going to do it, who's going to do it? Right. You know? You got to go get it yourself. And yeah, like, yeah. what's the worst thing he's going to say is like, get off the damn cherry picker. No, That's get down. Yeah. 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 Nothing really. It's just like going to a skate spot really now these days. Like, I'm going to call can't the skate. cops. Yeah. Yeah. You can't skate. Good stuff, man. I'm just looking at, I'm looking at all these covers and they, they're, they're amazing, dude. Yeah. Like, no, seriously, yeah, like man. really good for, dude. Amazing photographer, bro. Keep doing your thing. Fuck I love yeah. it. Thank New you. shoes, ten and a half, right there for me. Beautiful. Mm. Dude, I, I think it changed to a ten. Or ten. Which <laughs> your own. Why? Why am I getting shafted, dude? I know Tiago shoe. They might stretch. You never know. Yeah, yeah no, Mike Jake Raven. shoe. Are you wearing the you? You wear the Jamie Foy shoe a lot, don't you? I do. Yeah, really? I do, and that's an older you, shoe. You skate yeah. MBs. Uh, no, I mean, I just like chillers. Just oh, just chillers? Yeah, 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 sick. Yeah. Chris, yeah. skate. Come on. I like the, um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Rush. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, uh, I'm a big, I'm a big half cap guy. Okay. Love the half caps. Yeah, classic. Classic, dude. Mm -hmm. Just but, black um, and white? Black and white would be ideal. Yeah. Yeah, love mm -hmm. those. But, uh, yeah, I rock the Jamie, Jamie. I think I have a pair of Brenner Westgates too. Mm -hmm. But these are old shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, these are little, I haven't gotten a box in a long time. Wink. <laughs> it's time. You know it's time. Hey, but uh, Jake, thank you. Let, can we give you some nine club stuff to take home with you? Yes, I would love some. Yes, please, awesome. dude. Kelly, we do the honors. What bro. size t-shirts? Uh, XL. XL. Uh, and I also have gifts for you guys. What? Oh, what? Yeah. What? Okay. I have gifts. Wow. Amazing. It's been but, a while since but, we've gotten some gifts. I yeah, love it. You know, that's what you do. Yeah. You come on. But I had different plans. But you guys, I didn't have much time to. Okay. To no. prepare. Oh yeah, different. So I had okay. to. Do what I could do. Okay. Scrambled. Listen, we I had to scramble. Anything is... Oh, look. It's a nice little... Bag. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's a bag what there. What is this, bro? You got multiple things? Multiple... Got you got a box of chocolates? Or is that a nice uh, button-up shirt? Uh, We'll see. Okay. It's a gift. <laughs> is this for... A, should, should somebody open one and like we should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah? and Jerome open them. Okay. Yeah. We'll wait for Kelly yeah, to get we'll back. Kelly. And also, uh, with the shoes, yes. you guys can keep the shoes. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, Love yeah. that. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, between 8 and 12. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> okay. I'm a size 10. Okay. But when I was growing up, I, I like was between that. 8 and 12. Because, because uh, it is between eight and twelve. Yeah, I had to Just like stuff some tissue. Whenever, yeah. whenever, whenever, when I was growing up, like my mom brought me like a pair of like size twelve mm -hmm. uh, vans, and I was like size eight, and I had to wear them because she did the thumb rule, and she was like, "You're growing, you're gonna grow into these." And I was oh. like, "Mom, my feet aren't that big," so I've worn huge shoes, and then I've definitely been at New Balance and like crammed my feet in because the shoes are dope. So yeah. No, I'm sample, too, whatever it can be. Yeah. They make great shoes. I, I used to rock the uh, old man shoes. I call oh, them the yeah. old man shoes, but yeah. they're the they're the the chillers, uh -huh. like the old. Uh, fuck, five something. Five seven six. Yeah, maybe five seven six or mm. something like that. They got like the nine nineties and stuff like that. Yeah, they're comfortable though. Oh, I love them. No down. I love them. You guys want to? You just gonna like stare at it or? Yeah. There we. Go. There we go. Thank you, Kelly. God damn. <laughs> I'm gonna hook him up, dude. Wow, hydro Christ. flask. Yeah, dude. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, my we'll, we'll, my girlfriend's gonna like love that because I lost my drink bottle recently. We'll, we'll get one for her too. No, no, no. For me. Shit. We got more stuff too. More? Yeah, yeah. well, I'm gonna what? send Kelly a bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we got presents, Kelly. We got presents. Oh, I'd say she's gonna love it for me. You brought presents. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open up this. Looks like yeah, a yeah. nice dress shirt mm -hmm. in there. So, yeah, this was just uh, last minute. Okay. Just okay. a couple of prints. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, some prints, but huh? 
I didn't. Nice. Oh, it's kind of like very nice. Ooh. Who wants what? Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Just like yeah. attack. Oh, this is a lot. There's a lot. There's two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to get my fingerprints on them. You know? Should we get? I want to show people. Oh, Brandon Westgate. Did I miss one? Yep. Trahan. Trahan. Okay. We got uh, Tiago. Tiago. Yeah. Buttery. Sorry, I don't want to. Frankie. Hit that. Frankie. Frankie Valani. Mm-hmm. Bro. Must be a fun dude to shoot with. Super fun. Oh my god. Yeah, really creative. So rad. Uh, same as like Tom K, just like he's down mm -hmm. to like experiment and do cool things. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting my fingerprints all over this. Oh, so Jake Hayes, the blue, yeah. the blue commercial. Oh wow, yeah. that's dope. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, he's definitely also one of my favorite people to shoot with. Bro, the kick flips on oh. that guy. Bro. Kick flips on that guy. Oh, we got two Jake Hayes. No, wait, that's one. Other. What is that one? Brando. Dude, Brandon Westgate. That's an awesome photo. Cranberry right farmer extraordinaire. So Used bad. to be. I don't think he cranberry farms anymore. Yeah, no, he sold the farm, but he, yeah. is, he is an extraordinaire. Jamie Foy. Jamie. That's wait, that back when he switched front crook? That yep. is fucked. I don't think the footage has come out yet, but like when he did that, oh my that God. That is nuts. Tom That's Knox, fakey flip. Capturing everything. Oh, wow. In Croatia. Love Tom Knox's skating, dude. Really yeah. fun. Really yeah. fun to watch. Reminds me of old blueprint days. Yeah. Yeah. You know when people like throw out who's your favorite skater? Like mm -hmm. he's for sure one of my favorite skateboarders. Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. Uh, Marquise Henry. Marquise Henry. Yeah. Oh. Keys. Let's go. Oh yeah. This is a lot of prints. Thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of figured like you guys can that, pick which bro. ones you want, and okay. if we want to give some to like the oh, viewers yeah, or whatever that. you guys want to do, for like sure. yeah. Is, is that like a what is that? This is in Vegas. Um, this is outside one of the hotels in Old is that Vegas. Like and shit? Is that Ronnie Kessner? Yeah. Ronnie, yeah. He also has amazing form. He does. A great yeah. person to shoot with. Yeah, Everyone yeah. is like really good to shoot with. I've yeah, never really had any bad run-ins. Right. We haven't shot with me yet. Listen, here's uh, <laughs> see what we got. Oh, Soon. hey. Oh, what yeah. Is, what was this? This is the 3D cardboard model kit. Look yeah. at that. Oh, it's, it's a, a kiwi. kiwi. It's a kiwi. Yeah, some New Zealand like stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, we got to build this? <laughs> you got to build it. Okay, okay. We'll do it. Now right we got now some then. We got this? some lollies. Lollies? Some lollies. Yeah. What you guys call of, it? What kind of lollies? These are uh, Fijoa pineapple lollies. Okay. I want to try one. I love that. I'm yep. trying to take new things Wait, here. Wait, this isn't a lolly. This is just a bite. What we call mean? them lollies. We huh? call them lollies. <laughs> this is a, it looks like, like gummy type gummy of stuff. Yeah, jet planes. Okay. Yeah. Classic. We're going to open these right now. What is this one? A chocolate? Fijoas. Oh, hey, you know me? what a Fijoa is? A, no. It's like a fruit from, a, I don't know if it's from New Zealand, but it's like very common in New Zealand. Okay. okay. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm. Sorry to everybody listening. Everybody, <laughs> everybody nah, hates bro. chewing on I the hate air. Chewing, this is a bro. little magnet, right? I hate chewing. Yeah, that's a magnet Fridge. from uh, it's mm. uh, Gandalf. Oh, it Lord is. of the Rings. See that. Yeah, that's where it's filmed at, right? Yep. There you go. In the South Island. And, in there? and a, a pack, pack of cards. Of cards. Okay. New Zealand pack of cards. We needed those, those other night for a magic tight. trick. Yeah. yeah. Those ones are sick though. I like those ones. Yeah, these are great. But uh, thank you for the gifts, bro. Yeah. 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 yeah thank you. I love candy. Bringing New Zealand to the nine club. Yep. Roger's mouth's probably watering back there. He loves candy. Oh yeah. Him and Tim. Let me add them. He'll feel, finish this bag off in in thirty seconds. Yeah. Easily. Uh, our gifts to you. First of all, Jake. Bro. Dude. Hey. Dude, pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so pleasure, much. Bro. Congrats Legend. on all the success and everything, dude. All the hard work you put in. Bro. Um, it's going to get cold soon. Here's a Nine Club yep. uh, crew neck. Thank you so much. Also, the Nine Club hoodie. Great hoodie. I'm wearing it right now. Okay. Love this hoodie. Great. Thank not you. too thin, not too thick. Right in the middle. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Switch with Manny's shirt. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. You like that? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, old Jason Lee money shirt. Wow. But so, we made a Bitcoin as well. So we got a two for one in there. There you go. Wow. Are we all invested in Bitcoin? Yeah, we got a little bit. Yeah. A little, I yeah, haven't, yeah, a little bit. No. We're yeah. all losing money over here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a, definitely lost. You? Yeah. I definitely lost. It's yeah. a nightclub yeah. shirt. Stay, stay, stay with it. Don't yeah. sell yeah. it. I haven't yeah. lost until I sell. There you go. Right? Yeah. There you go. Then we got the, uh, the, long game. the nine club yetis. Here's the nine club yeti for you here. Thank you so much. Oh. Yes. This is what I was saying. My girlfriend's me so hyped because I lost my drink bottle the other day. Mm. And uh, she hates when I buy water. You oh, know, yeah, she, yeah. she's like, it's a waste. It's a waste for sure. Yeah. And I know it is, but I just haven't gotten around to buying one. So there you go. Wow. Bro, thank you so much. Keep it cold all day. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is actually like, yeah. 
And then here, hat. Here's a uh, Nine Club mug with some stickers here. Thank you. Let's see. If you could put a sticker in a photo or something, just, uh -huh. say, you know. We can do that. Thrasher cover, dude. This one, Uto is doing something. Yeah, yeah. Slap some on the rail. No, no, no. But just ask, <laughs> yeah. you, ask Uto to put one of these on his board. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we'll give him twenty bucks, and yep. we'll give you ten for the finder's fee. Wow, that's good. Good yeah. deal. That's a come up right there. Yep. Not bad, uh, dude. So stoked you came on the show. Thank yeah. you so much. It was so fun to wrap out with you. Yeah. And uh, dude, I mean, thanks for the shoes and yep. everything else, and, yeah, the, and the prints and the candy. Yep. Congrats! Yeah. Congrats on all the success, dude. No, yeah. It's a long journey. You still got a lot more to go, yeah. but I, I I love it, dude. It's, yeah, it's been. Fun to watch. I'm looking yeah. forward to the second colorway too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, this is awesome. It was really fun. Dude. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Stoked. Thank you, Jake. Jake. Celebrate life. Yes. Let's go. You already know. Oh, he's already playing the music. <laughs> <laughs>